God bless you for watching. I give myself away. So Share this video. Invite somebody to watch. And they will be blessed. God bless you. God bless you. Mm -hmm. I give myself away. So you can. I give myself away. Mm -hmm. What would happen? Give myself embrace away. Embrace this. So you can use me. Worship the Lord wherever you are. I give myself away so you can use me, Lord. I give myself away. Hey, yeah. I give myself away so you can use me, Lord. Take my heart. Take my life as a living sacrifice. All my dreams, all my plans, Lord, I place them in your hands. I give myself away. Give myself away so you can use me. I give myself away. I give myself away. I give myself away so you can use me. I give myself away. Just worship the Lord wherever you are. Give yourself away so He can use you. Everything. Rabba baba shana rabba baosha. Ira sonde de bahande. I give myself away so you can use me, Lord. My life is not my own. To you I belong. I give myself, I give myself to you. My life is not my own. To you I belong. I give myself. Somebody just worship the Lord. My life is not my own. To you I belong. I give myself to you, Lord. My life is not my own. To you I belong. I give myself. I give myself to you, Lord. My life is not my own. To you I belong. I give myself, I give myself to you, Lord. My life is not my own. To you I belong. I 
Thank you, Jesus. My life is not my own. To you I belong. I give myself. Oh, God bless all of you. Oh, Just worship. Just be in the mood of worship. Be filled with the Holy Ghost right now in the name of Jesus. All of you that are watching me right now. Be filled with the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Say that you're my God. Oh, hallelujah. I love you, Jesus. Hey, I love you, Jesus. Just say, Holy Spirit, take over me right now in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, take over me right now in the name of Jesus. You will feel the chills. You will feel goosebumps all over you right now. Just speak in tongue wherever you are. Just worship the Lord wherever you are. Don't think about anything else right now. Just focus on Jesus. Just worship the Lord right now. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Here I am to worship you, Lord. You're my God. Hey. Oh, I love you, Jesus. Hey, oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I give myself. I give myself to you, Lord. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah. My life is not my own. To you I belong. Oh, Jesus, I love you. Just worship the Lord, somebody. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We love you, Jesus. Oh, we love you, Jesus. <laughs> hey, Jesus, we love you. <laughs> oh my God, the presence is so strong in this place. Somebody just worship the Lord wherever you are. Just worship the Lord wherever you are. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I love you so much. Oh, I love you, Jesus. Come and take control. Yes, Lord. In every situation that is trouble, my mind, all my cares and burden unto you, I roll. All my cares and burden unto you, I roll. Let your living water. 
flow by my soul. Let your Holy Spirit come and take control in every situation that I struggle. My mind, oh, my cares and burden unto you. Somebody just worship the Lord. Oh, my cares and burden unto you. I wrote Jesus. Hey, Jesus. Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Oh, hallelujah. Rabbi Sultan The atmosphere is so charged already. Oh, Invite somebody. Share the video. They will be blessed. Oh, hallelujah. A lot of people tell me they don't get notifications. I don't know what to do. I have prayed over it. I know that God will fix it. Because they always tell me they watch it when we're done. And they don't like that. You are the market and burden. I'm so hot. Jesus. I'm so hot. <laughs> Yes, Lord, we love you. 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 Thank you, Jesus. 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 Oh, I feel so good. I feel so good. How is everybody feeling? How is everybody feeling? How are you feeling today? How are you feeling today? How are you feeling today? I feel so good. This worship just mm, feels good. How are you feeling? God bless you all for always watching, always sharing, always... um. Inviting somebody to watch. These videos are not ordinary videos. They are spirit-filled videos. And your life will never remain the same when you watch them. God will change your life. Can you guys hear me? Ereseba says she's feeling like a million bucks. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Make sure you share the video and invite somebody. God bless all of you. I love you guys. I was going to come on earlier, about maybe two hours ago, but 
my cousin was going to be preaching in like an hour at Royal Place Ministries and I didn't want to be online while he was preaching so I wanted to wait for him to finish before I come on. I hope you guys watched him. Powerful message. I was waiting for him to finish. So the moment he finished, I came on. God told me to come on here and pray for people, teach the word, set the captives free, heal the sick, raise the dead. You know, God has given me power to do these things. God has given me power to do these things. So if you see me doing all these things, it's not by my own power. It is God that gave me the power to do it. A lot of you, your lives have changed since you started watching. You are loving God more and more. Today I was just remembering the dream that I had where the angels were singing that song that God taught me. And I was remembering the angels that I saw. They were so beautiful, beautiful women with blonde hair, short blonde hair, like they curled it up, like curled it up. And they looked so pretty. They were smiling at me. And anytime I remember that dream, even if I'm not feeling too happy that minute, the moment I remember that dream, I start to smile. It's like... I'm seeing it right now. I pray that all of you will have encounter with angels in the name of Jesus. I pray that all of you will have dreams where you will see angels singing or teaching you a song or doing something in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. So I was just thinking of that dream and thinking of the song and I was just thinking of how blessed I have been since I started, you know, fully serving the Lord. The kind of encounters that I've had. You know? And God was just telling me about holiness. God is holy. So he wants us to be holy too. A lot of people waste time arguing and fighting over... You wear makeup, you won't go to heaven. You wear big hair, you won't go to heaven. You do this, you won't do this, or you do this. And they are wasting time on those kind of arguments. When they should be spending time on souls, like trying to bring people to God, holiness. Makeup, earring, hair, shoes, clothes, all those things. Once you are filled with the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit himself will teach you how to dress. The Holy Spirit himself will tell you, this thing you are doing, don't do it anymore. Do you understand what I mean? It's the Holy Spirit that will, that will start to teach you. See, he's the best teacher. The Bible says he will teach you all things. He will teach you all things. So instead of wasting time talking about, oh, you don't cover your hair, so you, you won't make heaven, or you wear makeup, so you, you won't make heaven, that's stupid. That's like waste, wasteful conversations. I was seeing some posts online about somebody arguing about whether they should wear wedding ring or no wedding ring. Wedding ring, they shouldn't wear it, it's evil, they should throw it away. And God was telling me, this is a waste of time, a waste of argument. Like, what is that? Some people come on my videos, they're like, why do you have this hair? Is this your real hair? But I'm holy though. You understand? My father is more concerned about holiness. And I'm holy. The angels that I saw that sang the ye shall love the Lord that may he care all. The ladies had red lipstick on. They look pretty. Their hair was well curled up. They look very fine. I can even, if I see one of them on the street, I can recognize her. Beautiful ladies, white ladies, blonde hair, smiling at me, red lipstick, beautiful women. Those were the angels that I saw. 
So when I see all these arguments, I'll be asking God, I'm like, but Father, I saw these ladies and they had, He said, don't worry about that. Just be holy. Just be holy. See no more. Love me. Well, people make it seem like if you wear makeup, you go to hell. If you have this big wig on, you go to hell. That means a lot of people will go to hell. There's so many preachers that are spirit filled. That wear makeup. That means they're all going to go to hell. All their congregation. Will. These things are not even what God is wanting from us. God wants us to be holy. Stay away from sin. Stop wasting your time on these little arguments. It's a distraction. It's an argument that takes time. You spend three, four hours arguing about stuff like this. When you could have used that time to win souls. Tell them about Jesus. And how he came to die for us so we can be saved. How they can accept him so they can have eternal life. Hey, not how your wig is so big. Let the Holy Spirit be the one to tell you. See, let me tell you. When you are filled with the Holy Ghost, he's the one that will be teaching you so many things that even your pastor won't teach you. There was a time that somebody got me so angry like, this was months ago when I was I started preaching online. Somebody got me so angry that day. I was so angry. I was about to go to sleep angry, and the Holy Spirit said I shouldn't go to sleep angry. I should make sure that I let this go before I sleep. And then he gave me a scripture in the Bible saying that I should not let the sun go down while I'm still angry. And I read that scripture and immediately I repented. There's so many times there was a time that I was on the prayer um, on the on the on the on the line. We had like a choir practice. I used to be in the choir then. So it was last year. I was in the choir, and we're doing practice on the line on the phone line. And the choir leader pissed me off. She was saying some things that I did not like, and I got so angry. I just got mad at her, and I just hung up from the meeting. I used to have a really bad temper. You know, it was the Holy Spirit that helped me work on my temper. And then suddenly I got so pissed off, I removed myself from the WhatsApp group that they created for the choir. And I was so angry, I told my mother, I said, I'm not joining this choir no more, I'm not singing in this choir no more. I was so angry. When I was entering the shower to go shower, while I was in the shower, the Holy Spirit said, you know what you did was wrong, right? He started to convict me. He said, what you did was wrong. You need to apologize to that lady. You were wrong. I said, no, she was the one that talked. He said, no, you were wrong. Suddenly, I felt bad. I felt so bad. The next time I went to choir practice, before I could even sit down for the choir practice, I went straight to the lady. My mother was there. Some of the other ladies were sitting there. I said, please, I want to apologize to you. I'm sorry about the way that I acted. It was wrong. I shouldn't have acted like that. I shouldn't have hung up on you. I shouldn't have taken myself out of the group. Please forgive me. I'm so sorry. I'm still, God is still working on me. Please, I'm sorry. Forgive me. She's like, oh, I already forgave you. You know, like, um, I already forgave you. And it's okay. I already forgave you. The moment I did that, I felt at peace. I felt at peace. That's how he's been training me. Even as I'm talking now, it's just electric shock feeling all over me. Because what I'm telling you is the truth. When you're filled with the Holy Spirit, he's your personal teacher, your personal coach. He knows what God wants you to be doing. He knows what God likes and what God doesn't like. Don't get distracted by stupid arguments if you're not even sure about something ask the holy spirit say holy spirit this thing they are talking about is it true when i see people arguing about makeup and all that stuff the holy spirit immediately flashes my my, my it flashes the the dream i had where i saw the angels teaching me that song ye shall love the lord that makeup and they had makeup on, red lipstick, they were singing to the right. That, so that means it's not sin to wear it. And I'm like, okay, thank you, Holy Spirit. 
We all have the Holy Spirit, right? Some of us have it, right? So instead of wasting time sitting and arguing with people, things that don't make sense, ask the Holy Spirit. Say, Holy Spirit, is this right or wrong? It will flash something to you immediately. Or he will lead you to something that you will read about it. But he will always answer you. He's the best teacher. His answer is always... A lot, although some people will come and say, Oh, the Holy Spirit told them this and that. People always say stuff and call the Holy Spirit that they told them this, he told them that. That's why you need to test the Spirit. Which Spirit are you talking about? Which Spirit is teaching you? The Holy Spirit is holy. He's more concerned about holiness. Not the physical deceit that you do. People will come physically looking all this and that. But inside their heart, they're so wicked. They have so much hatred. So much unforgiveness. They don't have love for anybody. But they want you because of the way they appear physically. They want you to feel like, yeah, that's the way. No, my father is not after your physical appearance. My father searches your heart. You understand what I mean? One day the Holy Spirit taught me, he said, Wearing makeup on your video is not a sin. But if you focus so much on that makeup, if wearing that makeup is, you're doing your video and all your attention is on your looks and how you look, uh-huh, then that's bad. So if the makeup is going to distract you from doing the work of God, then don't wear it. But if it's not going to get in the way of what you're doing, then you're good. Don't let it be your God. Do you understand what I mean? So when I see these arguments, I'm like, just be holy and let the Holy Spirit teach you. Stop arguing with other believers about stuff. We're not even supposed to be arguing with ourselves. We're supposed to be loving ourselves. We're supposed to be loving ourselves. We're supposed to be fellowshipping with one another. You understand? We're not supposed to be fighting, arguing. Oh, you're holier than me. I'm holier than you. Oh, you you don't know this. It's me they talk to. The Holy Spirit talked to me only. The Holy Spirit didn't talk to you. Hey! All those things. Is the devil putting those things? Before you know, you've spent a whole day arguing. You didn't even read your Bible. You didn't even pray that day. Nothing. All you did was argument. Argument. Foolish argument. Before you know, you even get anger from it because you're angry because your, your, your answer is not the one that they're listening to. Before you know, you have hatred. I can't stand that girl. She's always arguing with me. Before you know, you're having hatred. You're having all these stupid feelings that it's not right. Thank you, Father. And even I was going to talk about this. But that's the spirit of God. You know, he's always taking us everywhere because he knows there's somebody on here that needs to hear this. Thank you, Father. Let your living water flow by my soul. Let your Holy Spirit I want to read um, a scripture. Let us trouble my mind, oh, my kiss and burden. Thank you, Jesus. There's a scripture that's coming to me. I want to read it to you. I'm so hot. God. My God. Thank you, Father. If you read First Samuel verse 16, First Samuel chapter 16, verse 7, the NLT translation. But the Lord said to Samuel, Don't judge by his appearance or height. For I have rejected him. The Lord doesn't see things the way you see them. People judge by outward appearance. But the Lord looks at the heart. I know you guys have um, heard this scripture before. It says, the Lord doesn't see things the way you see them. People judge by outward appearance. 
But the Lord looks at the heart. You can do anyhow you want outward though. Say you don't want to wear makeup like me. I'm just lazy. I don't feel like wearing makeup. If not, some days I wear. But my heart, I really love God. And I obey his commandments. Like I truly love God. Don't judge me by my makeup. Do you understand what I mean? God sees my heart. God knows how much I really love him. Do you understand? Like... There's no day that goes by that I don't spend time with my father. Some people see somebody all dressed up, looking fine, and they'll say, mm, this one, she's a sinner. Mm, she will go to hell. Look at how she looks. And then they see somebody cover her face, do all these things, cover her hair. Oh, this one looks like she really loves God. Don't you? you can tell she has been praying all day. Look at her, even the way she's holding her Bible. She's even so skinny. It looks like she's been fasting. It's a lie. That girl probably doesn't even pray any day. That girl probably is a witch. The way we judge things is not the way God sees things. I'm going to read this story so that you guys can understand why God said this. I'm going to read 1 Samuel 16 from verse 1. I'll stop wherever I'm led to stop. Samuel anoints David as king. Verse 1 says, Now the Lord said to Samuel, You have mourned long enough for Saul. I have rejected him as king of Israel. So fill your flax with olive oil and go to Bethlehem. Find a man named Jesse who lives there. For I have selected one of his sons to be my king. But Samuel asks, How can I do that? If Saul hears about it, he will kill me. Take a heifer with you, the Lord said, and say that you have come to make a sacrifice to the Lord. Invite Jesse to the sacrifice, and I will show you which of his sons to anoint for me. I will show you which of his sons to anoint for me, because I know all of them. I know their heart, so I will be the one to show you. You understand? It says, So Samuel did as the Lord instructed, when he arrived at Bethlehem, the elders of the town came trembling to meet him. What's wrong? they asked. Do you come in peace? Yes, Samuel replied. I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Purify yourselves and come with me to the sacrifice. Then Samuel performed the purification rite. The song keeps stopping. Then Samuel performed the purification rite for, for Jesse and his sons and invited them to the sacrifice too. When they arrived, Samuel took one look, <laughs> one look at Eliab and thought, Surely this is the Lord's anointed. He looked at the guy, maybe the guy was so fine, looking presentable, looking good. This one has to be the one that God has picked to be the king. One look. Do you know how witches deceive people? They, they, they come looking a certain way, looking so good, looking, who, looking innocent. Everybody will fall in love with them. They will be so nice. You even yell at them. They will say it's okay. They do this. They do that. Everybody say, ah, this woman is a good woman. Ah, this woman will go to heaven. No, ah. But when they go home, they are wicked. Before you know, they are calling your name in the night. They are coming to you in the dream. But the one that comes to church that is speaking her mind. Maybe when you do something, she say, what you did is wrong. I don't like it. Don't do it. And that one, she's wicked. I don't think that girl loves God. She's too wicked. She's too blunt. She's always telling people things to hurt their feelings. That one may be the one that truly loves God. That truly stands for the truth. But maybe she's just blunt like that. I'm just saying. Or the one that says, it is well, it's okay. No problem. Even when they want to express themselves, they're like, no, 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 it's fine. Pretending that everything is fine when it's not. So ah, this one is just like Jesus, so witches can pretend to be like that. So they can get you to, to like them. 
and then they will finish you. That's why people don't know they are witches. That's why people don't believe it when they start to confess that I'm a witch. They're like, how? You that is so nice, you that is this, you that we think you are like Jesus, how can you be? Because you were looking at them from the outward, outward appearance or outward actions or whatever. But God is searching the heart. When they arrived, Samuel took one look at Eliab and thought, Surely this is the Lord's anointed. But the Lord said to Samuel, Don't judge by his appearance or height. Don't look like that. Don't, don't judge by that. For I have rejected him. The Lord doesn't see things the way you see them. People judge by outward appearance. But the Lord looks at the heart. He said, people judge by outward appearance. There was, a, there was a, a video, a short clip I watched on Facebook. I think I even shared it on my wall. This pastor and his wife, they have a daughter. In church, they are so, God bless you, God bless you. Do this. So, ah, me and my wife, we are so loving, we are so caring. But the moment they are outside church, the wife and the pastor and her husband, the pastor, they are quarreling, fighting. In fact, it will be. In fact, one day they were on their way to church in the car. The little girl was behind. Suddenly, the husband and the wife, the pastor and his wife, they started to start arguing. Before you know, the the pastor was pulling the head of the his wife. The, the wife was punching him. The little girl was like, younger, she was trying to, it's like she, she just wanted it to stop because they were fakers in church. They pretend to be, you know, holy and good and all this, but privately they are always quarreling. This was a video that was on Facebook. I shared it. I think some of you saw that um, video. So while they were quarreling, the girl used her iPad or her phone or something she started recording everything they were saying to each other she was recording it like the audio or the i think the audio or the video i don't know how she did it but so while they were cl getting close to church they saw a brother that was looking for a ride and immediately they started to adjust themselves duma was adjusting her tie because they've been fighting in the car you know and the husband was adjusting himself then the guy entered the car and they were like brother how are you let us give you a right to church god bless you god bless you they were even trying to advise him about marriage that when is he going to marry that marriage is a good thing they were just lying fakers suddenly the little girl started to play the recording of when they were fighting and the man could not believe what he was hearing it was so bad that the man said what pastor drop stop this car and bring me out. i want to come out of this car I cannot hear any more of this. But publicly, they fooled the whole church with their holy holiness. But God was not fooled. Their heart is just far away from God. They don't obey his commandments. They don't do what he says. But they do what the physical look says. The physical appearance, the physical portrayal of being a Christian, they, they have that part, but they forget the one that impresses God, the heart. He said, people judge by outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. The Lord looks at the heart. The Lord looks at the heart. Search yourself. Let me tell you something. Whenever, um, whenever I'm, like I'm, I'm on Facebook Live preaching, everybody may say, "Amen, amen." Yes, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel the Holy Ghost. But each person know truly if they are born again or not. Each person know truly if they are really 
they've really made peace for God. Anyone can say I'm born again now. Like yesterday, I don't know if you guys remember. Um, you guys should focus and ignore this person that is because you're falling for the distraction. Kai. Everybody is saying block this person. Everybody, you guys are being distracted. You're even you're the ones now distracting me with your comments. I don't like that. Ignore them. When I see them, I block them. But 20 people don't have to tell me the same thing. It's a distraction. So all of you are contributing to being a distraction to me now. Yesterday I was trying to pray for a guy. And you guys saw where I was trying to pray for the guy. And I asked him, I said, are you born again? He said, yes, I'm born again. I sing in the choir. You guys saw him yesterday. He said, I sing in the choir, I'm born again. But the Holy Spirit was telling me something else. You know? The Holy Spirit was telling me something else. He was telling me something. I said, no, he's not born again. So I asked him, I said, so if Jesus were to come now, like, would you make, would you make heaven or? He said, well, if Jesus were to come now, I don't think I'll make it. But he could have fooled anybody. But deep down, he knew that he's not quite, he's not, he's not really born again. So some of you here, you may be saying, amen, yes, I love you, Jesus, I love you. But you know deep down that your heart, you know if your heart is pure or you know if there is still something. But you can fool any, you can even fool me. If I don't have the spirit of God speaking in me, speaking to me, you will fool me. You will fool anybody. You understand what I mean? And before you know, before you know, I prayed for him to accept Jesus. And when I did that, I prayed for him. But looking at him and the way he was talking about what he was saying, you could believe that he was saved. But God could not be fooled. God said, no, he's not saved. Let him say the salvation prayer. And that's why I made him say it. Do you understand? Well, he could have fooled anybody, but he couldn't fool God. There was a time I had one of my followers, Marlon. This was like, I think, October or September last year. He was watching my video for the first time. You know? He was watching my video for the first time. And I was calling people's names to pray for them. When I got to his name, all I could hear was salvation. I say, Marlon, God is telling me salvation. Like you need to be saved. And I don't know you. This is the first time I'm seeing you on my video. So I say, you know what? Send me a message after the video. So I skipped. I went to the next person. So after the video, he sent me a message. He said, sister, you said that God is telling you that I need to be saved. But I'm already saved. That I'm, I'm already born again. I'm already saved. I say, well, that's not what I heard in my spirit. God told me you need to be saved. He said, no, but I'm already saved. He was arguing back and forth with me. I said, I'm not going to argue with the Holy Spirit. I know what I heard. You know, it's up to you, but this is what God told me. He now said, actually, you're right, sister. After he had argued with me a little bit. He said, yes, it's true. That just three days ago, he was praying to God. And he said, Lord, am I really saved? Because I don't feel your presence. I don't feel anything when I pray. Like, am I really saved? Um, is there something that I'm still doing? Reveal it to me. And that's how he found my video. And when he came on my video, the first thing I said to him was salvation. So I was like, so if you had this kind of prayer three days ago, why are you arguing with me that you are saved? You know, that you're the one that asks God if you are saved. And God is telling me to tell you that you need to be saved. I, I don't know him from anywhere. And all this while, he wasn't filled with the Holy Ghost. The moment I gave him the salvation prayer, he said it. A few days later, 
He got filled with the Holy Ghost, started speaking in tongues. Before you know it, he said he stopped gambling. The moment he got filled with the Holy Ghost, he stopped smoking. He said it's like the thing that makes him smoke. He just started hating cigarettes. He stopped gambling. He stopped watching porn. And now when he prays, it's like he feels electricity. He feels the presence of the Holy Ghost so strong. Like he can even pray for people now for them to be healed. Do you understand? But all this while he was struggling. I don't know if he's watching this video, but if he is, it will tell you it's true. All this while he was struggling when he prayed. He said he couldn't connect. He felt like there was still the stronghold because he wasn't saved. But he thought he was saved. But God said, no, he wasn't saved because he was still addicted to something that God needed you know, him to repent from. But you see what I'm saying? Physically, he could have told me that he was saved and I will believe. But I, I did not believe because I know what the Holy Spirit told me. He said, no, he's not saved. Now, if I did not have the Holy Spirit, I will take him for what he said. I will take him for his word. I will say, yeah, you are saved. But it is only God that really knows if we are saved or not. I'm telling you, don't, don't go and look at somebody and judge the person. And say, oh, because of how she's dressed now, nah, she's not saved. How do you know? <laughs> how do you know that? How do you know? Focus on how you can work on your own relationship with God. Focus on how you too, you can win souls for God. Your job is not to condemn people because of how they are looking or because of how they are dressed. That's not your job. How do you know that they are not saved? You see a lady all dressing flashy and you say, oh, this woman is not saved. But do you don't know if she just spent four hours in her closet speaking in tongues to her father and she got so many revelations from this thing we are doing is a personal thing. Oh, her is a personal thing. Leave this thing. You cannot just conclude. You have touch light that you're using to check people. Oh, you, you are saved. Mm, you go, you are saved. That's not even your job. You understand? That's not your job. I've seen a lot of people come to my video. Oh, this hair you're wearing is a sin. It's, um, you're not supposed to be wearing artificial things. And I go to their page and God is telling me how many demons they have in them. They are possessed. Like big time possessed. So you know the demon in them is speaking, trying to cause distraction. My father is looking at my heart. Some people that come on this video saying nasty things like they know so much. Go to their page. By the time you scroll through their page. Like one, one lady came to my page the other day. I think you guys were telling her bye or something. Only to go to her page, find out the woman is gay. She likes women. And I'm like, she comes to my page acting like she knows everything. But she's bisexual or she's a lesbian or something. The spirit in her was the one speaking, trying to cause distraction. But she was acting like she knows a lot about, about God. It's a distraction spirit. Focus on yourself. Say, but the Lord said to Samuel, don't judge by his appearance or his height. For I have rejected him. The one you think I have accepted. No, I didn't accept him. I have rejected him. The Lord doesn't see things the way you see them. People judge by outward appearance. But the Lord looks at the heart. Then Jesse told his son Abinadab to step forward and walk in front of Samuel. But Samuel said, this is not the one the Lord has, this is not the one the Lord has chosen. Next, Jesse summoned Shemiah. But Samuel said, neither is this the one the Lord has chosen. In the same way, all seven of Jesse's sons were presented to Samuel. But Samuel said to Jesse, the Lord has not chosen any of these. Then Samuel asked, are these all the sons you have? Michael! Michael! I'm so hot. I'm so hot. Tell Jeffrey to turn on the AC. I'm very hot, please. Turn it on. Make it very cold. Thank you, baby. 
Or maybe she can turn, can't turn on the fan for me. Come. I'm so hot. I don't know the fan for me. Thank you. You don't have to worry about the AC. Just leave the fan. No, no, no. It's... Oh, yeah, that's fine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I like it. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. <sighs> oh, my God. I was so hot. <laughs> I'm reading first Samuel chapter 16 I just finished reading 11 it says then Samuel asked are these all the sons you have this man went to bring all the sons that he thinks will be good for a king like he went to bring all his sons that he as a human being is thinking well he has to be this once now meanwhile they say bring all your sons so he, he didn't bring out all his sons. He brought the ones that he thought were fit for king. And he left one behind. Because in his mind, he's like, this one is not fit to be a king. What am I bringing this one for? That's how people do. Like me, when God chose me to do this work, they're like, of all the people, people that go to church daily, people that are born again, people that love God, it is this girl that used to do party, that didn't go to church 15 years, that God is speaking to do this. Why would he pick this one? There's these people that their father is a pastor, their mother is this and this. There are these people that are, they fast 40 days, 40 nights. Why didn't God pick this one? Why is he picking? <laughs> what you are looking is not what God is looking. Just because somebody is a pastor's child doesn't mean that their heart is pure. They could dress in suit like their daddy and all of that. But in their private place, only God knows what they do. <laughs> you understand what I mean? <laughs> only God knows what you do. Sometimes it's the pastor's children that the devil really, really try to mess up their life. A lot of pastor's children, they can't stop masturbating. Secretly, they're always masturbating. Spirit of lust has messed them up. They're not who they claim to be. <laughs> they wear the suit, they come, they're quiet, but privately, trust me. They know the scriptures, okay? Because they've been reading the Bible since they were young. So do not say, oh... Why did God not choose that one? Why you? Why you? You you with the big afro. You with the mini skirt. You with the this. God can choose whoever he wants to choose. Because what God is looking out for is different from what you are looking out for. Do you understand? Then someone asked him, are these all the sons that you have? Because God has rejected all these people you brought. He said, they're still the youngest, Jesse replied. But he's out, he's out in the fields watching the sheep and goats. How can somebody tell you to present all your sons? And you go and give one to be, put one out there to be wa watching animals. Is it not part of your son? Why you got to put that one aside? Because you are human. And because you feel like you know what's right. That one cannot be chosen. Nah, God will not. God will have nothing to do with that one. So let him just watch the animals. Can you imagine? He said, they're still the youngest, Jesse replied. But he's out in the fields watching the sheep and goats. Send for him at once, Samuel said. We will not sit down to eat until he arrives. Hey! <laughs> they rejected that one though. Sent him to go and be watching the, the animals. But that's the one that God wants. They say, okay. We will not sit down here out or eat until you go and bring that one. That one is very special to the Lord. That one has a pure heart. <laughs> that's the one that God has seen his heart. He said, we're not going to sit down to eat until this one arrives. This one that you refuse to include among your sons. I told you, bring all your sons. You only brought these ones that you thought were fit. And you let the other one to be out there watching animal. Go and bring him now. Because if you don't bring him, we're not eating here until he comes. <laughs> they have rejected you. And don't worry. God is not rejecting you. God sees your heart. Let them condemn you. Let them judge you. Let them reject you. Your father in heaven has not rejected you. It says... And the Lord said, he says, send for him at once, Samuel said. 
We will not sit down to eat until he arrives. So Jesse sent for him. He was dark and handsome with beautiful eyes. And the Lord said, this is the one. Hey! Hey! He said, this is the one. Anoint him. This is the one, the one that they have turned to slave. Anoint him. <laughs> this is the one, the one that they, they rejected. They refused to bring him. Anoint him. His heart was so pure that he was located. You don't understand. You can be in a crowd of people and God will locate you there because maybe in the whole crowd, you're the only one with the pure heart. People will locate the people there, but God will locate you. Even if they are hiding you, God will locate you because of that, your pureness, your holiness. Your holiness will speak out for you. God will see you, but people will not see you because everybody is hiding you. But God will fish you out of the crowd. You don't understand. Because he's not after the physical appearance. There's something inside of you that he's looking at. And he will fish you out from the crowd. This guy was not there. They said, no, we're going to wait. We will not sit down. We will stand until he comes. That's how, he is impo that's how important he is to God. He said, and the Lord said, this is the one. Anoint him. So as David stood there among his brothers, Samuel took the flax of olive oil he had brought and anointed David with the oil. And the spirit of the Lord came powerfully upon David from that day on. Then Samuel returned to Ramah. I just remember the day that I was filled with the Holy Ghost. The way the Holy Spirit came on me, eh? I told you guys the story now. In that church, mine was the worst. In fact, the way it came on me, I told you guys I had a big wig. My wig flew to another side of the church. And I landed on the floor like the floor was even shaking. The ground was shaking like... <laughs> I had makeup, I had the wig, I was looking like me, you know? But the Spirit of God came on me so heavily, I started speaking in tongues. <laughs> but God was searching my heart. God knew I was ready. You understand? And every day the Spirit of God teaches me things. Every day God would tell me, go and give this message. Even at night, sometimes it would wake me up, pray. So. He never had issues with my outward look. He was concerned about pureness, love, how I treat people, how I love him, obeying his commandments, staying holy. You understand? So if anybody comes and they're judging me, that's their business. You're judging me, but my father is telling me something else. Are you even hearing from God? Because if you're hearing from God, you will know that God loves me so much. You understand? But you're not hearing from God, so you are saying, ah, this one, God is not pleased with her. How do you know? How do you know? Remove that thing from your eye before you start trying to take something else from somebody's eyes. The Holy Spirit that I know, if you wear something that is not right, he will tell you, like that sometimes I want to go for a program to minister. And then I'll say, Holy Spirit, what should I wear? I may have one or two dresses. It will, it will say that one. I'll say, okay. Sometimes I'll pick one. I won't feel anything. Then I'll pick one. Suddenly I'll feel his presence so strong. And then I'll wear that one. He, 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 he's our teacher. Like, he's our teacher. He's the one that will tell you if you should stop wearing something, throw it away. Like somebody bought me a dress one time and sent it to me. I didn't want it, but she was insisting. And when that dress came, the Holy Spirit is like, why did you accept this dress? I never wore it though. He said, go and throw it away. It's evil. And I threw it away. So he will teach us these things. He will tell us these things. You understand? That's why we have the Holy Spirit. That's why me, I'm always preaching for people to have 
a strong relationship with God. Make the Holy Spirit your best friend. Make Jesus your best friend. Learn how to know when the Spirit is leading you. Because some of you, the Spirit is leading you, but you don't know. You're not used to it. Even now, if I tell you now, say, Holy Spirit, take over me. It will come over you so strong. In fact, you will tell it to yourself and it will, you, you will know that he's... I like to do these things. The Holy Spirit, one day, he told me, he said he likes when I'm doing these practical things with you guys on the video. Because some of you don't know that he's inside of you. Some of you don't know that he's inside of you. Like, <laughs> some of you have the Holy Ghost, but you don't even know that he's there. You are begging somebody, please pray for me. I, I need the Holy Ghost. But you already have the Holy Ghost. Have you tried one day to maybe have a conversation with him? He lives inside of you. He's a part of you. In fact, we're going to try it again this time. I like to try it. How many of you believe that you have the Holy Ghost? Or you're filled with the Holy Ghost? Or you have the Holy Ghost inside of you? Say me. Just type me. Do you believe that you have the Holy Ghost? Just say me. 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 I want to see. And then if you don't believe you have the Holy Ghost... Say not so I know. I don't know what's wrong with my network. It better behave right now. Network behave in the name of Jesus. Amen. How many people believe they have the Holy Ghost? Say me. If you don't believe you have the Holy Ghost, say not me. Now if you're not born again, I don't know how that works. See, Michelle says she believes she has the Holy Ghost. A lot of my followers have the Holy Ghost. Claire has it. Victoria has the Holy Spirit. That's right. That's right. That's right. Of course. You can't be watching these videos. You can't be born again and you say you don't have Holy Ghost. It's impossible. The Spirit of God is very active here. Lin Shia said, I feel him all the time. Even me now, I feel him like fire sitting on my head. My whole body is hot. Even with the fan, I'm still hot. It's like fire 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 I've not seen anybody say not me or I'm waiting for somebody that will say not me not me all I see is me 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 that's good that's good that means you watch the videos all the time my videos are holy spirit filled videos <laughs> nene ba say not me okay come and take Control. I've seen one not me, but everybody's me, me, me. If you are here and you say you believe you have the Holy Ghost and you are steadily living in sin, ha! Begin to ask for forgiveness so because you are grieving the Holy Spirit. Do you know what grieving is? Meaning you are making him like kind of like cry because he's living inside of you. And you are sinning. You are grieving him. You are not acknowledging him. You have no respect for him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Nelisha says, not me. Hallelujah. I've seen a few not me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Tabitha say me, but can't feel it. Some people don't feel it. But they still have the Holy Ghost. There's some people that don't speak in tongues, but they have the Holy Ghost. Some people feel like, oh, if you don't speak in tongues, you don't have the Holy Ghost. You have the Holy Ghost. Speaking in tongues is a different gift. A lot of people have the Holy Ghost, but they don't speak in tongues. So, hallelujah. God bless all of you. Before I go further in doing that practical thing that I want to do now, I always do it in my videos. If you are here and you haven't accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, if you haven't repented, if you're still a sinner, you're still living in sin, you're still doing things that God doesn't want us to do, I can't pray for you to receive the Holy Ghost though, unless you repent. So if you want to repent and you want to be filled with the Holy Ghost and you want to be holy, you want to live a holy life, you want to please God, say this prayer after me. Say, Father Lord, I come into your presence. 
as a sinner. I confess all my sins. Please forgive me. I didn't know any better. I promise not to go back to my old ways. I believe that Jesus came and died for me on the cross of Calvary so that my sins can be wiped away. I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and personal Savior. Be the Lord over my life. I promise to serve you forever and ever. In the name of Jesus. Amen. If you say that prayer, put your hand on the screen of the phone. I want to pray for you to be filled with the Holy Ghost. And you will be filled instantly. Be filled with the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Be filled with the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Anyone that wants to speak in tongues, I'm hearing this. Put your hand like this on your mouth. I don't know. I'm here. This is what I'm hearing. <laughs> Put your hand like this on your mouth. Receive the gift of tongues right now in the name of Jesus. Receive the gift of tongues right now in the name of Jesus. From today, you will be speaking in tongues. You will pray longer in the name of Jesus. Those that want to speak in tongues longer or want new tongues, receive it in the name of Jesus. Now, everybody, everybody be quiet. Say this prayer. Say, Holy Spirit, thank you for your presence. Take over me right now in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, thank you for your presence. Take over me right now in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, thank you for your presence. Take over me right now. In the name of Jesus. Father Lord, take over them right now. Let them know that you are in them. Take over them right now, Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Receive it now. In the name of Jesus. Suddenly, just tell us how you are feeling now. I hear some of you will start speaking in tongues. Some of you will start having goosebumps. Some of you... You will feel a sudden heat come over you. Some of you is like kakaya baba ba shanda ba ba sonta hande. Some of you you will know kaka de ba hande ba hande ba hande ba hande ba. Some of you will just start feeling cold suddenly. Some of you will feel like a vibration in your body. Some of you will even feel like electric shock all over you. Ha <laughs> ha. Some of you have never felt this before, but you will feel it now. Even the ones that said the salvation prayer. Some of you will start speaking in tongues for the first time. Just tell us how you're feeling. Oh my God, the presence is so strong on me. Hey, Jesus, the presence is so strong. Hey, Jesus. Ha! Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. That's right. Heat inside of you. <laughs> you will feel it so heavily. Holy Spirit, give them more. More. Receive it in the name of Jesus. You will feel it like never before. Vibration in your body. Chills, goosebumps, heat. Rapaledaha. Fire, receive it in the name of Jesus. You will even start to speak new tongues. <laughs> you will know that you have the Spirit of God in you. And you will know that you can talk to Him whenever you want. Tori says, I can't describe it. When you blew the air, I was going to pass out. The power of God. Somebody feels tingles in their arms. Hallelujah. The presence is so strong. <laughs> oh, ha, ha, ha. oh my God! Somebody's like your head is swelling, like your head is getting bigger or something. Oh, ba, 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 shanda, da, ba, ba. Somebody's like the hair on your body is raising up. It's like your hair on your body is sticking up. Some of you have not felt like this in a long time. Some of you will start to feel heat in your back. Fire your back, your belly, your feet, your arms. <laughs> oh, 
Somebody, you are cold outside, but you are hot inside. You can't explain this. <laughs> Some of you will speak tongues that you've never spoken. You want to stop it, but it's just rolling. You're speaking in tongues. You can't stop. Hey! Shabahande Baha. Michelle say yes, my head feels so big. That's right. Hey! Jesus! Father! Father! Somebody, you feel this seat strongly on your back. The presence of God. Thank you, Jesus. Shambahande! Holy Spirit, take over all of them. Take over them. The ones who believe, take over them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Oh, Jesus. Some of you will feel so sleepy too. Some of you will be smiling. You're just smiling. Some of you will feel so good. Some of you, this peace will come over you. Suddenly. Hey, hey. Oh, my kiss and burden unto you. Ah, are you reading the comments? <laughs> are you reading the comments? Hey, hey. Are you guys reading the comments? The Holy Spirit <laughs> is working inside of you. <laughs> Thank you, Father. That's your teacher. That's your comforter. The advocate, he's supposed to teach you all things. So if people are confusing, you just ask him to teach you. And he will teach you. He lives inside of you. He will never leave you. Thank you, Father. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hey, somebody just feel like shouting. You just feel like jumping. You just feel this strength. Suddenly, you just feel this. You feel this strength. Suddenly, you feel strength. It's like you were tired all of a sudden before. And now you feel strength. You feel strengthened. Hey, hey, hey. Tell me, says, I'm speaking in new tongue. It's coming from my belly. I can't stop. That's right. That's right. That's right. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your power. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Oh, my kiss and burden unto you. I roll. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody says she's shaking. Rosie says she's shaking. Nelisha says feeling cold and joy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Oh, even the people that are watching for the first time, they feel his presence so strong. Hey, hey. Oh, I need to play this other song. They feel his presence so strong. Oh my God, it's so strong all over me, my head. Hey, hey, hey. God, it's like somebody's pouring buckets of fire on me. It gets stronger every day. Oh my God, somebody just worship the Lord. Oh, I love you, Jesus. Hira Hando, Sepande de Hega, Hira Posana, Rabosha. Oh, Holy Spirit, we love you. Nekete Braba Baba, Yekete Raba Baba, Retete Raba Baba, Shete, Hira Sete, who said the Spirit of God is not real? What? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> You need to come. Let me touch you. You will know it's real. <laughs> I don't even need to touch you. Just come stand by me. <laughs> Fire. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody said they can't really describe how they feel. <laughs> Holy Spirit, I just love you so much. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Just wash it. Just worship. Some of you, you've been depressed. You've been feeling sad. Suddenly, you feel at peace. You feel at peace. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Even deliverance is taking place. Some of you that repented today and got the Holy Ghost, demons are fleeing out of you. The Spirit of God cannot stay with the demons. It's in there. They have to leave <laughs> for Him to take over your body. 
Just worship the Lord, somebody. My God, my God. All over me. All over me. All over me. All over me. It feels so good to be in the presence of God. Thank you, Jesus. 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 I love you, Jesus. Thank 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 you, Jesus. Just worship the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Your presence is all over me. The presence of the Holy Spirit is upon you right now. His presence is so strong on you right now. Hey, God, I love you. Man, I'm just vibrating like car. All over me. All over me. All over me. Thank you, Father. 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 Oh, my God. When I'm in His presence, I don't feel like living. It feels so good. It feels so good. Oh, hallelujah. Wow. Gela. So this is the first time since my son was diagnosed with autism that I feel so peaceful. No more worries and stress. Your son is healed in the name of Jesus. And this peace will never leave you in the name of Jesus. Wow. Take it, Abahandaha. Healing is taking place. This atmosphere is healing is taking place. Demons are fleeing. Thank you, Jesus. 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 A lot of you are crying. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Just enjoy the presence of God. Speak in tongues. Oh, Jesus. The presence. Hey. If you know you are not feeling well, if you are sick, put your hand on your forehead. Put your hand on your forehead. I want to pray for you. I cast out that demon that is responsible for that sickness. Out of your body in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. You are healed. You are healed. You are healed. You will feel some kind of electric shock right now. If you had your hand on your head, you are healed. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Father. Somebody just worship the Lord. (laughs) See, Joyce says she's crying and speaking in tongues. Hallelujah. That's right. And you will feel so good. Some of you are watching for the first time. But I tell you, your life will never be the same. Don't stop watching. Keep watching. God is about to do something in your life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You, Jesus. Oh, I love you, Jesus. I'm not afraid of anything. Make sure you share this video. Invite somebody to watch and they'll be blessed. <laughs> Somebody said they never yawned like this before. Somebody said they've yawned more than six times. Wow. 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 Look at all the comments. <laughs> wow. So many people are yawning. <laughs> wow. Georgina, your son will begin to act right in the name of Jesus. I keep seeing people are yawning, yawning, yawning. (laughs) All over me. All over me. All over me. Everybody said they are yawning. (laughs) All over me. All over me. 
Allowe me. Allowe me. Thank you, Father. God loves it when we spend time in his presence. God loves it like this. We have to worship him in spirit and in truth because God is spirit. You know we have to worship him in spirit and in truth. Reba sekeleha. David, your coffee so hard. Yes, deliverance is taking place. Something is happening. Something is happening. After that you will feel the presence of God so strong. Ora baba ba shanda raba ba usha. Hira baba sota ya rahande. Hey, people say they can't stop speaking in tongues. Wow, wow, wow. Hallelujah. Hey. Oh, thank you, Father. Hira baba ba ba shanda. Ora baba sente re ba usha. Even people that are watching for the first time they are drunk in the Holy Ghost. <laughs> so many people are yawning. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is so powerful. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Thank you Jesus. Ora baba shetre ga hande bro. Some of you receive the Holy Ghost and for the Holy Spirit to stay in you, those demons got to get out. They need to leave. Ha, there has to be some cleansing. There has to be some cleansing in you so that the Holy Spirit can comfortably stay inside of you. Ora baba shinta ra baba usha. Thank you Father. Your presence. Mary and your son is healed in the name of Jesus. Just enjoy the presence of God. Thank you. God bless you. Gloria she says I will always watch your video cuz it make my day. God bless you for watching. All over me. All over me. People say they feel relaxed, they feel at peace. That's what Jesus does. Jesus take that heavy load from you and he gives you peace. He gives you rest. So you came here all troubled all sad but now you have peace of mind that's Jesus that's what Jesus does is the devil that stresses you but when you're in the presence of God you have peace you have joy you have you know you feel peaceful thank you Jesus thank you Jesus yes your presence thank you father awesome awesome presence hey <laughs> oh Jesus your presence all over me wow so many people speaking in different tongues hallelujah 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 just worship the lord thank you jesus ora baba ba shanda ra baba sota ha somebody said they had a bad headache but now they are healed hallelujah thank you jesus all over me 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 Thank you Father Thank you for your presence Everybody just say thank you Jesus thank you Jesus Oh ra 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 ba usha Thank you Jesus thank you Jesus Just say thank you Jesus Thank you Jesus. 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 You are surrounded by angels. You are surrounded by angels. You are surrounded by angels. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Thousands of angels. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. God is telling me I'm surrounded by angels, thousands of angels. That's why the devil cannot even come near me, can't touch me. God protects his children. You are all protected in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Father. I can't explain your presence all over me your presence 
Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. How is everybody feeling now? <laughs> it feels so good, right? My back is on fire. Mahaha. Man, it's so hot. <laughs> it's so hot. I don't feel like removing this hair now, but mm -mm. I don't want you to see my gray hair. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. How are you feeling now? Now you see you have the Holy Ghost inside of you. So now you know that if you're not sure about anything, ask him, Holy Spirit, help me. I need to know more about this. What are they saying? Is what she's saying the truth? He will tell you the same way he came over you like this. Thank you, Father. Chine, you say my back is on fire too. Hallelujah. Jessica say I feel so good. Ereseba says I'm cold. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Wow. Cooper Lynn says, I'm feeling so blessed, woman of God. God bless you, sweetie. Wow. A lot of people are feeling good. That's good. That's how you're supposed to feel in the presence of God. You're not supposed to be feeling depressed or sad. No, you're supposed to feel good, feel peaceful, feel happy, feel joyful. Feel blessed. Hey. See the line just say, Jesus, I'm still yawning. No. <laughs> Something is leaving you. Don't worry. Let them let them leave. All over me. All over me. Thank you, Father. Wow. Some of you, your eyes are opening. You're seeing, you're seeing angels. Wow. God bless you all. It's good to be in the presence of God. Amadine say, I'm feeling drunk. Hallelujah. Drunk in the Holy Ghost. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Wow. Are you seeing the comments? Wow. Thank you, Father. Whoever thought you could come on Facebook and feel like this? <laughs> God is so good. He says he's doing a new thing. He was telling me months ago that he's doing a new thing. He gave me a scripture. That he's doing a new thing. I can't I see it? Then I didn't know what he was talking about, but now I'm beginning to understand. God cannot be limited to a building. God is spirit. God is everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Wow. Wow. Somebody said this feeling I have can touch the whole the whole state of Alabama. Thank you, God. Wow, wow. Powerful. Powerful, powerful. Wow, look at your comments. I'm seeing some new people too. God bless all the new members that are watching. Feel free to share and invite somebody so they can feel what you're feeling too. So they can repent, so they can love God, so they can, they don't have to take medicine to be at peace. They don't have to be depressed no more. Jesus can heal them. You know, they don't have to worry no more because people worry too much in this country. America, not just America, everywhere. People worry too much. Worrying causes people to be sick and have all these high blood pressure and all these things. But when you have this kind of peaceful feeling, you don't worry. Oh, God bless you. I love you too. God bless you. Thank you, Father. So I have some more scriptures to read for you guys. When I was coming online, of course, God always reminds me of what he has anointed me to do. This scripture, Luke 4, 18, I'm always posting it. When God um, put me out there to go preach, this was the scripture he gave me. Luke 4, 18, it says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He had sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind to set at liberty them that are bruised this is me god gave it to me this was jesus of course but this is how we know what god has called us to do me he told me to preach the gospel so i can preach i preach all the time also to he has sent me to heal the brokenhearted i can do healing to preach deliverance to the captive i do deliverance to 
recovering the sight of the blind and to set at liberty men that are bruised. So that's why when you see me, it's like I function in every everywhere. Like I can cast out demons. I can heal. I can preach. You know, I can motivate people. I can inspire people. It's just all around. So God was reminding me of this. So today, I will bless water soon, not now. Water that will be sprinkled on in your house, sprinkled on your face, and water that you will also drink. I heard these instructions clearly. Sprinkled in your house because God, a few months ago, He showed me a dream. And that was after that was really after I started. I've already been praying for water in my videos, but a few months ago, I think two months ago or three months ago, I told my cousin when I woke up from that dream. I saw myself in a big gathering and I was sprinkling water on faces of people and demons were coming out of them. And then when I woke up, God told me that I'm going to start using the water that I pray on Facebook. I'm going to start using it in real life. I did not even know that this um, prophet TB Joshua is church. They use the water too. Until recently when my cousin started telling me to watch him because my cousin likes that man of God a lot Pastor Isaac Samuel watches him a lot so when I was watching him I saw the, the sprinkling of the water I'm like this is what I told you that God showed me in my dream that I should be doing I've already started praying for water in my uh, in videos but I've never sprinkled water in any of my events you know I was like so today anytime I'm watching TV Joshua, Prophet TV Joshua I see them sprinkle the water, God will keep saying I told you you need to do that too. God has even shown me the container, the kind of container to use to to sprinkle it. Like, I'm waiting for California. I'm going to have water. Ha! So it's not just you guys drinking it. Some of you will have it sprinkled on your face. From me, directly from me. <laughs> so that thing that is hiding inside of you will react and it will come out. So today, we're also going to... Um, we're also going to pray for water. Not now. When the Spirit tells me it's time. But for now, I have some scriptures I want to read. First, I want to read the book of Matthew 8, 14 to 16. The NLT translation. It says, Jesus heals many people. When Jesus arrived at Peter's house, Peter's mother-in-law was sick in bed. With a high fever. Oh, somebody said they want to be in California. Oh, California, I'll be coming there January 12th. It's a Friday. We're going to be there from 5 p.m. to 2 a.m. It's just one day, but my events are always long. Because it goes by quick and there's so much things going on. So you don't want to miss it. Um, I have my cousin, Pastor Isaac Samuel II. And my bishop, Bishop Blessing Samuel. So it's going to be three of us. Three powerful people, powerful people of God. Two men of God, one woman of God, but highly anointed. And I got a room for 200 people. We do have a lot of people coming. They gave me a discount for the rooms. The discount ends on the 29th of December. So many of you have booked your rooms already because a lot of people are coming from out of town. This is in Los Angeles, California, in the Marriott Hotel, close to the airport, close to LAX airport very close to the airport like five minutes from the airport so all my guests coming from out of town they're staying in the marriott hotel i'll be there too um they're giving us for 129 per night if you're booking it on your own i think it's 200 and something i'm not sure but los angeles is expensive you know the venue cost me a lot actually today i was like wow i've spent spent over ten thousand dollars for that program and I was even telling the guy that promotes my video, this, you see how we have over 6,000 views. I told you guys I paid to promote it. I pay him about 3,000 a month. And after this video, uh, my, 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 my video, I only have one more and it's over. And I was like, um, I don't think I can pay again because I've spent so much money for California. So I'm just, and, and I'm worried because a lot of my followers don't get notifications. So they always message me that they don't get notifications. So I told him, I said, I'm not going to be able to pay this 3K now because California, I've spent so much money for that revival. And also, you know, we're, also, we're always helping people. So 
So if you are led to promote, to, to sponsor the promotion of these videos, send money. Um, you can send your contribution to PayPal. My PayPal is on my page. I'll also post it. Otherwise, I told him, um, and you know, I still pay Facebook too to promote. So in a month, I spent almost 8,000 promoting my videos, Facebook and these other people that I pay because that's how I get so many followers. That's how I get so many people watching. There's so many people that will never know of my videos unless I pay for it to be promoted because they don't have mutual friends with me. Some of you don't know them. There are some countries that I promote to that none of you know anybody from that country. So some people will just be on their news feed. They'll see the video pop up. It costs money. And I actually, next year, I want to start seeing if I can go on a on a TV station. Those ones cost more, but I'm highly anointed. And I, f I believe that more people need to be exposed to this. Like, I keep telling God, I say, Lord, we need more people. Like, look at this video. If we have like 20,000 people watching. And 20,000 people are being delivered. Demons are leaving. 20,000 people. Hey. Or 100,000 people. Or 200,000. Or 1 million people. <laughs> or 1 million people repent. Hey. There's no way you will watch my video. And something will happen to you. I'm telling you. Even if I. Don't worry. When, when God start putting me on TV stations. Ha ha ha. Da 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 da. I can't wait. I just want people to love God. I want people to be filled with the Holy Ghost. I want people to... That's why I don't really like anything. I just like... Promoting my videos. <laughs> so when I told the guy, I said... He said, woman of God. Come on now, you know, you're one of my best customers. You know, like I've referred so many people to him. A lot of my people that preach, they now use him to promote their videos. But... I say, well, 3000 right now. I don't have 3000 because I spent so much money for Los Angeles. And I, maybe later, but he was like, no, you know you can do it. I said, well, let me think about it. So if you're led to help promote, at least now you know the money you're offering goes to a lot of stuff. Even the California. If not that God told me to go to Los Angeles, I will not go there. Everything there is so expensive. I live in Houston, Texas. Things are not that expensive. But Los Angeles is so expensive. The venue was 3002 I paid almost 900 for the equipment, the speakers to be rented, the keyboard. Because you know we can't bring all those things from Houston. So it's like over 4000 just for venue and speaker. And I'm like, this is just for one day. And then the hotels. And then I'm flying 10 people from Houston to LA. It's a lot of money. And you know, that's why... When people complain, eh, why do they want offering? I'm like, calm down. We are coming to do deliverance on you. We are coming to pray for you. And we are the ones spending all this money. Support. <laughs> Stop complaining. <laughs> you know what I mean? Somebody say, all you need is favor. They will broadcast for free. I don't like free stuff. I don't like free stuff. I believe people need to be paid. I don't like people doing stuff for me for free. If it's somebody's business, I like to patronize people. I don't like free stuff. Free stuff comes back and haunts you. If somebody is paying for it, I prefer it. But for someone to give me stuff for free, I don't like that. That's their business. I don't play with business. Business, see me? I used to be a businesswoman. I don't mix friends with my business. You understand what I mean? Like, we could be friends, but when it comes to my business, you got to pay for your stuff. When I used to do parties, <laughs> my friends, they pay at the door before they come in. Because that's, that's how I make money. I'll tell them, say, please, now let me come in for free. I say, I don't come to your job asking for free stuff. <laughs> this is my job. Pay and come in. <laughs> so when I hear the word free, I don't like free stuff. I really don't. Even the people that play work for me, ask them, my keyboardist, I always pay them extra. I don't like free stuff because it discourages people. They are working. They need to get paid. You know what I mean? That's just me. I don't like free stuff. I'm sorry. I don't like free stuff. I don't like free stuff. Free stuff comes back and haunts you. People do things for free. 
and then next day they will be asking you for favor and then if you won't want to do it they'll say hey remember yesterday i did that thing for you for free so you owe them for the rest of your life but if you pay you got your receipt you don't owe nobody nothing <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't owe you nothing. I paid for the services. Why are you bothering me? <laughs> but when you do, African people, they like free stuff. Free, free things. That's how people close their business because of free stuff. Do doing free, free for friends. Before you know, you don't have money to pay your rent. Because you've been doing free stuff. Do you understand? Even ministry, there's nothing free in the ministry work. The, the church you stay in, you pay bills, light bill. You pay things in the church. You understand? In America, pastors pay their rent monthly. Some pastors have to get a job because their members' offering is not enough to pay. Some churches are closing down because there's not enough money to pay the bills in the church. <laughs> TBN, I found out how much they charge. They charge a lot of money for 30 minutes to be on TBN. It's not free. That's why you see the big, big churches are the ones that are coming here. Because a lot of people can't afford it. But they would like to be on it because there's so many people watching it. I would like to be on it because... Imagine one million viewers watching me on, say, TBN. I'm just giving you an example. Feeling what you guys are feeling in their homes. Hey! One million people giving their life to God. Hey! Hey, my God, do you know the kind of celebration that will be in heaven? Even if it's just to appear one time, one time, the Spirit of God will come on me so strong. And that one time, even if you are not planning to watch and you turn on your TV, you will be glued to it. Before you know, demons are fleeing from you. But that time will come. That time will come. So if you're late to help with the promotion of the videos, the PayPal is on my page. Oh, by the way, talking about le leading to help. Yesterday, I had uh, one of my followers come on my video. And she was telling you guys her story of how, you know, she was preaching on Facebook. She was on fire for God. And suddenly some false prophets advised her not to be preaching too much. That she's going to have invite some attack. And they put fear in her. She stopped preaching. And before you know, she fell for, uh, the devil was trying to tempt her and she fell for it. And she slept with some, one of her ex-boyfriends and she got pregnant and she's like a pastor, a single woman, trying, a lot of people looking up to her. And she was unrepentant. After four months, she finally realized that what she did was wrong. And she repented again. And she said all her spiritual gift, everything left her after she committed that sin. And now God has forgiven her and she's back on her feet. She's five months pregnant now. You guys heard her testimony. A lot of you were touched by her testimony. And you know, before she came on the video yesterday, God told me to give her $500 and to tell my followers to support her if they are led, you know. And after the video, some of you sent some offering, $20 here, $15 here, $10 here. You know, even my cousin, Pastor Isaac Samuel II, he also sent money to support her. So total plus my 500, after the video, I got at 1,100 and I showed you guys the receipt. But by the time I slept and woke up this morning, some more of you sent some more money. So it was $700, about six something. I just rounded it up to seven. So I sent her again and she was like, what more is still coming? So I just want to thank you guys because total is 1100 plus 700 she got 1800 she's also watching she told me she will watch i wanted to invite her to say thank you to you guys but i don't think the signal is strong today so maybe um you know so it's like she was very happy and guess what guys it's good to have the spirit of god in you when God told me to give her 500, that was after the audio I did yesterday. Not, not, not when I was on doing the video. It was before the video. He said, give her 500 and ask your followers to support the ones that are led. Because you know we don't force. We just say if you're led to do it, you know. She didn't tell me anything about money. Oh. She didn't ask me for money. Oh. But you know me, I always obey my father. 
it was today before i came on this video she was just too happy she said she can't believe that she never asked me for money in fact i need to screenshot what she said and send it post it on facebook so you guys can read it it's very touching she said woman of god i never asked you for money i never told you i needed money but look at how god has used you guys you and your followers to bless me she said woman of god do you know that yesterday yesterday my daughter had a game listen to this guys this is the lady that came on yesterday on the video to give her testimony she said yesterday our daughter had a game and it was three dollars to get into the game she said she did not have three dollars she had to watch from outside that's how broke she was i was like wow she couldn't enter her daughter's game because of three dollars i said no wonder god said i should give her that money you know and then she said somebody had given her um somebody has given her hundred dollars check or something that she couldn't even cash the check because her account is negative 300 or 400 for, for weeks and they're about to close her account that that's how that's how broke she has been she couldn't even enter her daughter's game yesterday so she never knew that that night coming on my video she was going to get miracle money and it's still coming in 1800 from someone that didn't have three dollars to pay when i when i when i when i heard that i was like wow i was like three dollars to enter your daughter's game when i read it i read it right before i came on this video I said, and I was like, Father, no wonder you wanted me to give her 500. She never told me about money. Even on the video, if you guys notice on the video, I asked her. I said, is the man supporting you financially? The one that impregnated you? She said, yeah, he tries, he pays, he this him, but now it's like, it's just too much drama now. I had no idea she didn't even have $3. So the money you guys contributed... Her, I say, and then what I told her was, God loves you. She said, it's so good to know that God, God actually answered my prayers. God loves me. I'm so happy. This girl is so happy. Don't worry. Maybe tomorrow when I do a video, she'll come and thank you guys. All of you that contributed towards that. May God, see, I don't know, some of you gave $10, $5, $20. May God surprise you with miracle money. hundred times more than what you gave in the name of Jesus. See, my father is a rewarder. God uses people to bless people. Because you have been used to bless that lady, your own blessing is coming to in the name of Jesus. And your own blessing will be way more than what you did for that lady. In the name of Jesus. I'm so happy for her. I'm so happy for her. Give and it shall be given unto you. There is no way you will help somebody in need. That you, somebody will not help you. You know, some people are still struggling with helping. Like I expected more money though. I expected more people to help. The people that help is probably only like 30 people. And we had thousands of people watching her. I was like, Father, why are these people so stingy? You know, like why are people, they act like they want to help. They will comment, they want to help, but they don't really do it. Like they don't do it. Some people will say, oh, what is the paper? They don't send it. It's like something stops them from sending it. Why are people like that? Why do they just do eye service? They make noise in public. Oh, I want to help. Oh, there was one time that we we donated money for one lady that was affected for by the hurricane in Houston. And you guys donated 2300 I think. When I posted the receipt that we put the money you know in her account when i posted that receipt one lady commented on there she said oh my god nobody told me that we were helping somebody oh seraphine i didn't even know you were watching sweetie she said amen yes jesus is indeed an amazing god god bless you sweetie i was just telling them about you and what you told me before i came on the video 
The lady was like, nobody told me we were donating money for this lady. I would have helped that. Nobody told me. You guys saw her comment, right? She said, nobody told me we were donating money. I would have loved to help her. I now commented under her comment. I said, sweetie, it's not too late. You can still donate. She said, well, I don't have any money now. Maybe next time. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> the way you commented on, they're like, you wanted to help, but nobody told you. <laughs> and when I told you that we can still take more money, you say, no, not now. You don't have money. <laughs> Why you come publicly acting like you wanted to help? Stop doing eye service, man. If you're helping, you help. Don't make it seem like you, <laughs> you want to. So people talk, 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 and time to act, they don't act. They talk about it, they don't do it. Stop deceiving people. <laughs> <laughs> he said, he said oh, um, sorry, I don't have money now. Maybe next time. I'm like, why did you have to comment on here that nobody told you? I've been announcing it. But those who are helping, God bless all of you. Those who want to but don't have, may God provide for you in the name of Jesus. But learn to support each other because one day you might need support. It. One day. You might be the one that they will be helping. You never know. <laughs> you just never know. <laughs> so she's very happy. She received her money. Me, like last night, I could not go to bed until I sent her the money. My cousin was like, don't you want to wait till tomorrow in case more people send? I said, Pastor, let me just release her money so that I can have peace of mind. I don't want the devil to have anything against me. me if I tell you I am doing something... You better believe I'm doing it. I don't want the devil to say, Hey, you told her you're doing this, you didn't do it. Nah, I want to be able to sleep well. Only for me to wake up, I saw some more money. I was so happy for her. And then I sent it to her. So thank you for always supporting financially. I know you are blessed. Every day I come out here, you know, we're not charging you to be blessed. I didn't charge you to be filled with the Holy Ghost, but it's good to support. God uses you to bless the ministry. Thank you. And I have a lot of people that pay their tithe and offering here. God bless all of you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I'm just so happy. The California trip, if you are also let. Oh, somebody messaged today. I don't know if she's watching. Is that Susanna? I think it was Susanna, right? She said that she just bought her ticket for she and her husband to come to California for the revival last night. And she said, after she bought the ticket, I think today she was hearing the Holy Spirit was telling her that she needs to provide food for the event. And she's like, woman of God, be expecting me to message you soon about food for the event. I was like, oh, okay. She said, how many people are we expecting? I said, 200. She said, do they allow food in the hotel? I said, no. Because in Marriott, if you want to bring food, they charge you a different amount. <laughs> Those people like money. So I don't know how she's going to do it. Well, maybe she will. It, the Spirit of God is even putting in the heart of people to help. Because it's costing a lot of money. I did not know it cost that much until when I did my three days revival in Houston. It cost a lot of money. You know, and me, I don't like... I told God I don't want to be doing cheap, cheap things for Him because... I've seen some people there. When they are doing their birthday or they are doing graduation or something, they have a nice flyer... They have a nice hall. They have nice things. But when they're doing the work of God, or like a program for God or something, the flyer is so ugly looking. It's tacky. The venue is tacky. Everything is tacky. Like, But you look at when they did their birthday. It was so nice and presentable. And then now it's time to do God's thing. And it's looking so tacky. Like, why would you do tacky things for God? But when it comes to the boogie down part, you spend a lot of money on that one. God deserves the best. You understand what I mean? Don't be cheap when it comes to, the, to God and then when it comes to partying and wasting and drinking liquor and all these things, you spend all the money. And then when it comes to church things or Christian things, you complain that you don't have money. There are some people, some of you watching here, when it's time to do like a party, they call it a, sh a shwebi, Nigerian thing, they call it a shwebi. 
It's like a uniform that everybody will wear. The hair tie alone is like maybe 100 bucks. The material that everybody will look alike is like 300. You will see people donating money quick, quick. Even if they don't have it, they will go and borrow to do a shabi. But when it comes to a church thing, maybe the pastor is saying, oh, we, are, we don't have enough to pay rent. Well, we still have, need $500. You say, oh, I, mean, I don't have money. Oh. That's your church building, man. Do you want to come to church next Sunday and the, the place is locked up and there's no church? You can't even donate towards the rent, but you are willing to, to buy all these things to go to parties? Come on now, think. And then you still come to God, beg me, beg God, financial breakthrough. He gives you financial breakthrough, but you rather spend it on parties and grooving. But when it comes to this thing, you don't have money. Somebody here, you are like that. Somebody here, you are like that. Repent. You may not like what I'm saying, but the truth has to be told. I used to do parties for 15 years. I didn't go to church. I've done more parties than anybody here. I've done over a thousand parties. I have my pictures on Facebook. I have my videos on YouTube. I have videos on Google. I've done so many parties. I used to be a party promoter. I know how much I've spent doing parties. I used to bring celebrities from Africa for events. God bless you, Pastor. Welcome, Pastor. Pastor Isaac Sauer is back. You want to say hello to them? He's back from church. <laughs> you don't have to wait for you to finish to come online. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> the demon chaser. Oh, don't <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Pastor Isaac God bless Samuel. You. God bless you. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you. Welcome. Welcome. So, you know, so when it comes to parties, oh my God, when I used to do my birthday parties, I have the pictures, I have the videos on Facebook. So I'm not just talking. I had limousine, the long one, the big one. I had like, Almost how many girls? Go and look in my album. You will see my party pictures. You will see how I used to do my parties. Limo with beautiful ladies. Legs showing. Paparazzi. Red carpet. Oh my God. You would think I was this one princess from somewhere. I used to spend a lot of money. So when I came to God, I said, Hey, I'm not giving you any less, Lord. My three days revival that I did asked people that were there. It was classy. It was nice. Everybody looked good. It was in a nice place. You know, like, God was pleased. I didn't want to say, oh, you know what? Let me just go and look for one cheap place for God. No, I wanted to make it even better than when I was in the world. And God provided for it. You know? It was nice. The three days revival. There's a summary video that I posted. Like, um, there's a summary video that I posted on Facebook from the three day revival. Has anybody seen that video? Did you guys share it? Summary video, welcome, Mama. You know, did you guys see the summary video that we posted from the three days revival? My birthday revival, it was nice, it was wonderful. All of you that came, you look so beautiful. Somebody asked me, somebody said, Woman of God. Are you sure this was a church event? Look at all, they're all looking like celebrities. I said, that's right. We are celebrities. <laughs> I say we are celebrities. They said they all look good in white. They all look good on the red carpet. They all look good. Where did you find all these people? I said, we are children of God. We are supposed to look good. <laughs> I said, we're supposed to look good. Or you want us to be looking all tacky? Our God is not a broke God. <laughs> <laughs> God ain't broke. <laughs> we give him the best because he gives us the best. He gives us the best. You understand what I mean? That's how it's supposed to be. I don't like when people want to do things for God. It looks like a slave kind of thing. But when it's party time for them, they look all, they buy a lot of liquor, a lot of things. But when it comes for God stuff, it looks like poor people's stuff. It's not right. You know? We look like celebrities. When they were interviewing some of you guys. And you were talking. They're like, man, these people, they look like celebrities. I say, yeah, that's right. 
They are celebrities. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I have watched that video over and over and over. I just love it. I just love it. You just add class to it. And there's still power. There's Holy Ghost. There's, it's not like it's just class and no power. No, there's power. There's anointed. It's spirit filled. <laughs> I haven't even posted the pictures. I have the pictures here in my laptop, but I'm going to post it maybe today or tomorrow. There's so many pictures. For the three days because a lot of you have not even seen your pictures some of you look so good on the red carpet the man took a lot of um let me see the man took a lot of pictures some of you you have four or five pictures on the red carpet it's too many like one night is like a thousand pictures the second night is a thousand pictures so i'm just wondering i'm like if i load all these pictures they're gonna get tired of looking at pictures that's why i haven't loaded it but i'll load it you know Seraphine said, teach us, woman of God. Wow, I see things differently now. That's right. Somebody says, celebrities for Christ. Emma, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> celebrities from, <laughs> for Christ. Mimi said, I love watching that video. Maybe I should share that video again because some people haven't seen it. I'm going to share it again on my wall. That video is so good, though, the summary. It makes me want to do it again. So powerful. Hey! I just love God though. Ah. <laughs> Somebody said she didn't get the chance to be interviewed. Jomaya, really? You know what? All of you, all your interview, I'm going to load them separately. Because the guy gave me all the clips. The one he did was a summary. But a lot of you have your own clip of your interview. So I'm going to load it. But the California, the same guy will come. I'm hiring all the same people that worked for me on that day. So... It's going to repeat itself in California. So get ready. They will interview you in California, in Los Angeles. <laughs> Somebody say, please share that video. You want to see it? Let me share it now. <laughs> I've watched it like 50 times. <laughs> I'm like, Father, look at this. This is way better than when I used to do parties, Lord. This, he said, I told you. The devil was fooling you thinking it was fun to be with him. It's more fun to be with the Lord. Hey, I just shared it on my wall. You guys can share it. It's on my wall now. If you, In case you are watching for the first time. Highlights from my birthday, from my three. This is the best birthday I've ever done in my life. The best birthday I've ever done in my life. The best, best, best. The best. All the time before I didn't know God. I didn't want to talk about God. It was all party, drinking, wasting money. But now, people came and got delivered. People got filled with the Holy Ghost. People got healed. People gave their lives to God. People, oh my God. Hey, Jesus. Hey. Hey, hey. My God, my God. Let me see if you guys can see. Okay, I, look at it here. <laughs> it's on my wall. Just share it on your page. If you're watching for the first time, share it on your page. So that people can see how we do it. That's how we do it. Some of us used to be in the entertainment scene. This doesn't even make me miss the entertainment scene. Somebody said, am I coming to Atlanta? So, no, not yet, sweetie. God hasn't told me. This thing does not make me miss the entertainment scene at all. It doesn't make me miss the entertainment. Because this is what we used to do before. But now we do it with a pure heart and we have Jesus in us. You know, we have... Oh, God, dear. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. 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 I'm so happy because so the devil made me seem like God was so boring. He made me seem like when I repent, my life is over. It will be so boring, you know, that there's no fun. But it's actually more fun. Than when I used to do parties. It's more colorful. Jemima say, is there a particular outfit color for revival? No, everybody dress as you. Dress as you want. Just be comfortable. So in case you fall on the floor, you will not be naked, you know. <laughs> I just shared the videos on my wall. Monica, check my wall. You will see it. I shared it just now. You can share it. I see a lot of you sharing it already. You guys are so quick. <laughs> quick, quick, quick. I shared it already on my wall. But when you watch that video, you are like, what am I wasting time in the clubs for? 
This is our own club now. Holy Ghost Party. That's my club right now. <laughs> I say Holy Ghost Party is my new club. <laughs> Drunk in the Holy Ghost. That's right. Before I used to be drunk with is it Moet? I used to drink Moet. I used to drink. Oh, there was one time, man, when I I drank Moet. I think it was Moet, and then I drank Irish cream. And I didn't know you you don't mix champagne and all these things, but I don't know what happened to me. I I found myself sleeping on the floor of my bathroom. I don't even know how I drove to my apartment. But I woke up and I saw myself on the floor of my bathroom. That's where I slept. But now I get drunk in the Holy Ghost. And I just sit down on the same spot for hours. And I feel so good. Hey. Hey. <laughs> drunk in the Holy Ghost, man. <laughs> and I don't have to spend money to go and buy this thing. Free from heaven. Like some of you got drunk a few minutes ago. <laughs> some of you got filled with the Holy Ghost a few minutes ago. Some of you were yawning. Some of you were feeling cold. Some of you were feeling drunk. You didn't have to spend money and go buy Moet or Hennessy. <laughs> hey, we're changing this thing. People watch it and they're like, wow, are you guys sure this was for holy this this thing you did you sure it's a revival it looked like a party i say yeah it's a party holy ghost party <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's right free drunkenness <laughs> we got drunk for free <laughs> god is not boring god told me one day he said make sure you add entertainment to what you do for me see let me tell you god uses people differently if you used to be an entertainment person, I even have an award. I showed you guys my award. I was the best promoter of the year. All I did was entertainment, parties, clubs. So when he called me to do his work, he still wanted me to add some fun to it. But now, the way that pleases him. You see what I'm saying? Because he knows I'm a fun person. I'm a fun-loving person. You know, like, I love to have fun. So he said, okay, make sure you add entertainment to what you're doing for me. I'm searching the heart of the people coming. And it's true. A lot of people that came for the revival, they love God so much. If they don't love God, would they be buying tickets and paying for a hotel to come and stay for three days? And they had fun. They were like celebs on the red carpet. They were being interviewed. They were saying things. They were looking good. Looking like celebrities. <laughs> it was fun, though. Somebody's asking me, Convia Brown, say, why are you on Facebook four times a day? Wow. Four times a day. Wow. I wish I could be on Facebook four times a day. That would be nice. It's because I love Jesus, sweetie. God bless you for asking, and God bless you for watching us. Keep watching. It is well with you. When you're in love with the Lord, four times is nothing. <laughs> I don't come on four times though. I come on once, but it's four hours. Sometimes I come on two times. Sometimes I come on three times. Thank you, Father. Somebody say, man, life is good. That's right. Life is good. Life is good. Life is good. I can't wait for Los Angeles. Actually, I can't wait for Tuesday. Because Tuesday is my, um, what's it called? Tuesday is my my cousin, Pastor Isaac Samuel II, his birthday. So I'm doing, um, I'm organizing a miracle service for him. Because um, he loves God so much. And nothing will make him happy but to do his father's work on his birthday. So a lot of people are coming it's Tuesday. It's going to be at my bishop's church because that's where my pastor is pastoring right now till bishop comes back. Royal Place Ministry. I have the flyer on my page. I need to even update my f profile picture with that flyer today or tomorrow so that you guys can also help him update your profile picture at least just to celebrate him. Pastor Isaac Samuel II has been a blessing. You know, it has been a blessing to a lot of you guys, even to me. And I just want 
him to just do his thing. So it's going to be from 5 p.m. till I think 10 p.m. or 9. Pastor Isaac is so anointed. And he's he, he works in the miraculous. Meaning like when we went to New York, there was a girl that had back. She was missing two bones or something. So she was kind of formed a certain way. God gave her two new bones and she was healed. Like creative miracles. He can cast out demons. You guys have seen some of the videos he's done, right? He prays for instant healing. So he wants to do these things. So come celebrate with him and get your own breakthrough, your own healing, your own deliverance. It's in Houston, Texas. I'm in Houston, Texas. You know? God bless all of you. They say, kids, welcome. Of course. Bring your children. Don't you see the deliverance he did for that 11-year-old girl? Two days ago, Pastor Isaac Samuel posted a video I shared on my wall. An 11-year-old girl that the evil spirit was telling her to steal. Her mother messaged me saying she stole $100 in school and she doesn't need the money. The girl was hearing voices telling her to run away from the house. When her mother would be praying, watching my video, the voice would tell her, go and turn on the TV, make it so loud. Go downstairs, don't stay where your mother is praying. Go make the TV loud so you won't hear her pray. So bring your children. Some of them, they need to be delivered. <laughs> bring children too. <laughs> you don't know, the devil starts from even when they're in the womb. You know? So that day is to celebrate Pastor Isaac's hour. It's only a few days away. Today is what? Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Five days away, guys. I'm going to change my profile picture to his um, flyer once I'm done. Please also celebrate him. Change it to change it to your profile pic, you know, so that people can come. It's not it's not expensive. You can buy. I don't know if it's too late to get a ticket, but you can fly into Houston and come and come and celebrate with us. God bless all of you. So I was reading a scripture. I was reading Matthew eight fourteen to sixteen. What, how many hours have I been here? Two hours. Okay. Matthew 8, 14 to 16. It says, Jesus heals many people. It says, when Jesus arrived at Peter's house, when Jesus arrived at Peter's house, Peter's mother-in-law was sick in bed with a high fever. Are you guys listening? When Jesus arrived at Peter's house, when Jesus arrived at Peter's house, Peter's mother-in-law was sick in bed with a high fever. Let's see. Master. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. We have some some devil worshippers here, so I need to block them. I need to block them because that's how they come. They come in groups, and they will be asking one stupid question. So all you do is you block them. So if I see any more, I block. One time they came in quantity talking about the devil and so Today now I'm seeing them asking another kind of question. I know them when I see them. I all block them. So don't worry about them. Just I see them and I'll just I click block. All right. So Matthew eight fourteen to sixteen it says, when Jesus arrived at Peter's house, Peter's mother in law was sick in bed with a high fever. But when Jesus touched her hand, the fever left her. Hey, all he did was touch her hand, and the fever left her. Then she got up and prepared a meal for him. He said, but when Jesus touched her hand, the fever left her. Then she got up and prepared a meal for them. Before the video, before I came on this video, when I read this scripture, I was hearing that I should pray for you guys. I should pray for you guys. And I should pray that you should receive a touch from Jesus. 
that I should pray for you guys to receive a touch from Jesus. Because all he did with this woman, he just touched her. He touched her hand and instantly the fever left her. So who's ready to receive a touch from Jesus? If you already say me and I will pray and you will actually feel his touch. You know, a lot of you have felt it in my videos when I say this thing. So if you already say me, are you ready for Jesus to touch you right now? <laughs> that sickness would leave you. That thing that is holding you back would leave you. That demon will flee from you. <laughs> I say, Lord, what do I do with this? He said, tell them that they will receive a touch from me. So I'm just telling you what he said. So who's ready for that touch? Hey, hey. I hope you're ready. Because he's ready to touch you. Hey. Somebody say, please, I'm ready. That's right. You know, we, we have fun. We laugh here, but things actually happen here. <laughs> like things actually happen. We play too much, but yeah. God still moves here. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. If your children are there, somebody say for my children. Make sure your children are hearing my voice too. Hallelujah. Rabba Shanda Rabba Baushaha. Rete te ra se prega hande gaha. He rababa sho prega ha sanda ha. You say you are ready for a touch. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Everybody stand up now. Those who are ready for the touch. <laughs> Muna say, wow, he just woke me up for my touch. <laughs> if you are ready for your touch, stand up. Everybody stand up. If you are driving, stop the car. Ratata yarabaha. You have to have faith. You know what we do here in this video? If you don't have faith, it's not going to work. Believe that you are going to receive. And so shall it be. Father Lord, you told me to do this. I'm just obeying you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Is everybody getting up? Are you, are you standing up? Are you standing up? Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Somebody said, my children are asleep, but they will see in their dreams. I love your faith. Thank you, Father. They say they are ready, Father. Thank you, Father. Close your eyes, everybody. Close your eyes. Say, Father, I am ready for your touch. Touch me in the name of Jesus. Father, I am ready for your touch. Touch me in the name of Jesus. Father, I am ready for your touch. Touch me in the name of Jesus. Father, I am... Close your eyes. Father, I am ready for your touch. Don't type. Just close your eyes, please. This is spiritual. Father, I am ready for your touch. Touch me in the name of Jesus. I'm going to pray for you. Father, Lord, you told me to tell them that you will touch them. I have done that, Lord. They say they are ready. Touch them and let the glory come to you. And as you touch them, the sick will be healed. The ones that need deliverance will be delivered. Everything that needs fixing in their life will be fixed. And they will feel this touch and they will know that it is you that touched them in the name of Jesus. Receive your touch in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Oh, yes. Some of you will just feel it like a cool breeze. Some of you will feel it on your hand, on your leg, on your forehead. Some of you will just have these chills come over you. Some of you will feel like somebody is standing right next to you. Some of you will feel cold in your room suddenly. To come on, you so heavy. Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God. 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 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh ba 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 ba. Ye ke te ga 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 ga. Ye ba 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 ba. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Oh thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Some of you tell us if you felt anything. Oh <laughs> Jesus. Somebody you feel like somebody poured oil or something on your head. Like something is running down your head like he poured something on your head. You will feel like something poured some like something was poured on your head. Thank you, Father. 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 Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. 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 Hola baba ba shandaha. Wow, somebody said she felt the power. Oh my God, it's still so strong on me. My God, my God, Jesus. Abba love say, oh my God, I felt his power. Dela Dela Dove say, I can't stand. Oh my God. Wow, Mati Mashan say, thank you. My 12 years old son just told me he's hot after this prayer. Wow, wow, wow. Princess Povi say, he touch her feet. Andrew say, I'm cold. Ka 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 re ba 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Bridget say, I almost fell. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Della says it was so strong. Thank you, Father. Amaka says, I feel cold. Amanda said, touching on my hands and legs. Hallelujah. Wow, Jocelyn said, I, I close my eyes and I feel a light flashing in my face. Wow. Sandra said, I felt cold as if I had sweat. Wow, 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 wow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Natalia says, cold breeze. And I started crying and raising my hand. Wow. Princess Julia said, chills all over me and tingling in my forehead. Hallelujah. Wow. Wow. Diana said, I felt from my head to my feet chills. I was brought to my feet, knees and started groaning. In my wow. Powerful. Tene says, I felt the heat in my legs and I was very weak. Mommy said, I just felt a push and I fell in my bed. Wow, my room is so cold. Sasha said, she also fell in her bed. Wow, wow, wow. Iji Mama said, I almost fell too. Wow, thank you, Father. Oh my God. Mimi said, I was moving around, but all of a sudden I couldn't move. My feet were so strong on the floor. Wow, Agu said, I feel cold. Dio says, tears running down my face. My God, my God, look at that. Wow, wow, wow. Nana said, yes, my head was anointed and I fell down. Wow. Antone said, I'm free. My God, my God, my God. My God. Fatmata said, I was turning around in my room. My God. Are you guys reading these comments? Mona says, I 11 year old felt a breeze on her face. Hallelujah. Min Chop says, she almost fell on the floor. It was so powerful. Right after I prayed that prayer, it was so powerful. Even me, I felt it. Jesus, God is so powerful, Lord. My God, my God. Are you guys reading the comments? Hey. Wow, 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 wow. 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 Wow, wow, wow. Thank you, Father. Wow. All I can say is wow. Thank you, Jesus. 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 My God, my God. My God. Wow. My God, even the children are, are saying they feel something. People are commenting. Wow. Shagun said, at work, I went to hide for privacy and the wind blew me like a truck passed by. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Father. My God. Oh, my God. My God, my God. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Jesus, look at the comments. I'm reading your comments and I'm just blown away. So much power here today. 
my god wow oh love somebody say her husband fell on the floor wow 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 she said her husband fell on the floor something happened though you see god is so powerful even on facebook look at her. people in different places my god even me i'm still feeling it jesus the presence is so strong today <laughs> Man, oh my god it's like <laughs> hey jesus hey oh my god this feels so good this feels so good this feels so good oh my god esther says she lost her balance and she fell on the couch wow 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 even people were feeling tingling sensations the presence came he said tell them that they will receive a touch from him wow thank you father See, I'm just a messenger. Wow, wow. 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 My God. Somebody say, whenever I shout, they start to shiver. Wow. So many comments. Wow. Somebody say, her son has been healed. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. 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 All the comments are wow. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank oh, I wish the whole world could be part of this. My God. Just imagine one million people watching this and feeling what you're feeling. The devil would not even be able to come near them again. Hey, thank you, Jesus. People are still typing, oh, wow. 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 This is too powerful. Make sure you share this video. Invite somebody. We have a lot of new people watching. Share it too. Follow me on Facebook so you can watch more of my videos. Thank you, Father. Wow. Somebody say God loves her so much. That's right. That's the touch. Reba Sota Yahandaha. Wow. Wow. My God. <laughs> when I was reading the scripture, I said, What do I do with this? He said, Just tell them that I'm going to touch them. Wow. Clement says he's so real. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody said they already saved this video and they already shared it. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Do you know all of you are in different parts of the world? Some of you are in Nigeria. Some of you are in other countries. But you are still feeling that touch. You felt something. You know you felt something. Something happened. Wow. Linsha said this is so powerful. Oh my God. <laughs> Ara said I feel cool on me. That's right wow thank you jesus 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 thank you father oh my god hey hey it's not just an ordinary touch -o. he touched that lady and the fever left her so that touch that you just received it's not just ordinary touch. Something is happening in your life right now. Wow. 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 It feels so good, right? Let me allow you guys to enjoy your touch. That's right. All over me. Some of you, God even spoke to you. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you, Mimi, for posting that. Ama says, I lost my balance, almost fall to the ground. Wow, your legs were weak, right? Suddenly, some of you, your legs got so weak. When I told you guys to stand up, it's like you couldn't feel your legs anymore. <laughs> All over me. All over me. Dio Calvante said, 
Yes, I'm in Hong Kong, but I still feel the presence of the Holy Spirit. That's right. Wow. Somebody said, Luke John Joseph said, the pain on my knees have gone. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. You got that touch and the pain on your knees. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Tina, watch this. You say, yes, my legs got so weak and I fell on the bed. Hallelujah. Wow. Wow. Beth Ann says, I know something left me too. Wow. Thank you, Father. 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 Oh, my God. Some of you are still speaking in tongues. You can't control it. You can't stop it. This video is too powerful. Huh? I didn't even know we we're going to do all these things. <laughs> I didn't even know we we're going to do all these things. So huh? I'm just obeying God. I'm his servant, you know. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My member says all my head is burning like there is fire inside. It seems I'm carrying fire on my head. That's right. That's right. I, I'm I'm always on fire, 24/7 every day. My whole body is always on fire. It's the fire that chases the demons away from me. <laughs> every believer has that fire. You have that light. You have that fire. The born again believer, the ones that are pure and holy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Oh, my God. Thank you. Clement say he's embarrassing me, making me laugh and cry simultaneously. How awesome. Wow, wow. Wow. All over me. All over me. All over me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Oh, we love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. And Luke said, don't leave, woman of God. <laughs> she doesn't want me to leave. I'm not leaving yet, sweetie. I'm, I still have some more scriptures to read. Thank you, Jesus. I'm not leaving yet. Don't worry. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Linda, you are healed in the name of Jesus. The moment he touched you, something is happening. Just the way he touched that lady and she got healed, the fever left. So the touch that you just had, something is happening. Everybody is different. He, Jesus Christ knows exactly what you need to be healed from or something. He knows what your problem is. Wow, so much fire, so much fire. People say they are burning up. Hallelujah. All over me. 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 Mercy say you are so powerful, woman of God. You are blessed for life. Oh, God is powerful. He gave me the power. The meal say, I love you, Princess Belema. Oh, when people start saying they love me, that means something has happened to them. Thank you, Father. All the glory goes back to God. That's right. That's right. That's right. Even your children, some of you are saying your children felt it too. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Oh, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Abba love say, I can't stop crying. That's what happens when you get a touch from Jesus. Ah. Wow. Somebody laid their hands on their child. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you, Jesus. Your presence is all over me, Lord. See, nothing else matters when you are in the presence of God. Nothing else matters. You don't want this to end, really. You are enjoying His presence. Nothing else matters right now. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Mommy say, woman of God, I've been watching your face. Your face has changed, it's glowing. Sometimes you'll see fire in my face. Because the power of God is so strong here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Make sure you share. Invite somebody. 
Some people have never felt the presence of God like this before. Your presence is all over me, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Your anointing. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody says she felt the presence as she came on, even though she missed the prayer. Jane, God bless you. My videos are spirit filled. The Spirit of God is here. All over me. All over me. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Father. So how is everybody, you know, somebody, Lisha said, I will save this video and watch that part again tomorrow. I want to feel it again. <laughs> somebody said they needed this anointing today. Oh, how are you feeling? Let us know how you're feeling because we still have another thing to do. There's another thing to do. I just did one part. There's another thing. And we still have the water to do and the water to sprinkle. And the water to sprinkle your face and to sprinkle your house and to drink. Hey, today is too much. Oh. Hey, double, double blessings. Hey, Jesus. Let us know how you're feeling. And then I'll, I'll read the next part. It's so much fun. We have so much to do here. <laughs> all over me. See, God loves his children. God is blessing you all today. God is a good God. All over me, all over me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Diana said, "Wow, power package tonight." That's right. That's right. And we've been doing this almost every day, though. Every day I come out here. Releasing, releasing, releasing. And you guys are getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And loving God even more. Hey! Hey! My God. My God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Your presence. Yes, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We are not done. We have a lot to do. We still have water. So make sure you have water nearby. That one you will drink. You will sprinkle on your face. You will sprinkle in your house. <laughs> I don't know why God told me to do that. But that's what he told me to do. Bojo says, I look forward to watching you every day. So do you know I have over 50,000 followers? And a lot of them don't even get notification. I even posted a status today asking. A lot of people were messaging me and said they don't know when I come online. I feel so bad for them. Although the videos, the power never leaves the video, but people just like watching when you're online, you know? Wow. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Somebody, you have pain, like somewhere around your, your head or your neck area. I feel that pain right now. Put your hand there. Receive your healing right now in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God bless all of you. God bless all of you. So we just finished reading the first part. I, I told you I was going to read Matthew 8, 14 to 16. So we just finished reading 14 and 15. So now we're going to read... Oh my God, it's like there's, there's oil point on my head or something. Do you know there was one day I did a fellowship and after the fellowship, oil started coming out of my hand, my palm and people in the fellowship were shaking me, rubbing it on their body. Like oil was just dripping from my palm. Oil was dripping from my palm and they were just shaking me. I don't know where the oil came from. <laughs> that is too much. So we just been reading 14 and 15, so now we're going to read 16. And that will take us to the next thing that we want to do. That evening, 
Many demon possessed people. This is Matthew 8:16. You know, so that evening, many demon possessed people were brought to Jesus. He cast out the evil spirit with a simple command. Hey! And he healed all the sick. That evening, many demon possessed people were brought to Jesus. He cast out the evil spirits with a simple command. But I just say, come out of that body. <laughs> you know me, I'm always saying, come out of that body. <laughs> My cousin makes fun of me the way I say it sometimes. <laughs> Pastor Isaac, I always say, come out of that body. He's, he's trying to make fun of me. <laughs> It's so funny. It said that evening, many demon possessed people were brought to Jesus. Shirley says, I have a pain in my neck. Now it is gone. Hallelujah. God bless you for testifying. I had the pain here. And when I prayed, it, sometimes God will make me feel it. So I know how you're feeling. And then once I pray for it, it's gone. So I'm glad you're healed. Your healing is permanent in the name of Jesus. So that evening, Many demon possessed people were brought to Jesus. He cast out the evil spirits with a simple command and he healed all the sick. And he healed all the sick. That evening, many demon possessed people were brought to Jesus. He cast out the evil spirits with a simple command. And he healed all the sick. He healed all the sick. All the sick. Hey! That evening, many demon possessed people were brought to Jesus. He cast out the evil spirit with a simple command. And he, he healed all the sick. Wow. Ketchy said, I had a neck pain too and I'm healed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Wow. Mimi said, I was having pains in my ears, not feeling it again. Wow. Wow. So many people are healed already. Wow. Michael, see, for that pain on your left leg is gone in the name of Jesus. He said, That evening there were many demon possessed people that were brought to Jesus. He cast out the evil spirit with a simple command Come out of that body, you evil spirit, in the name of Jesus. And he healed all the sick. Wow. Simple command. Wow. Wow. Look at all these testimonies. Wow. Larissa say, woman of God, my very bad headache is gone. Thank you, Jesus. Marilyn say, I had, I had a pain in my neck. Now it's gone. Wow. So many people had pain in their neck. Wow. 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 Jesus. Thank you, Father. All glory belongs to you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Wow, so many people. Thank you, Jesus. See, when you testify, God is pleased with you, and you put the devil to shame. And God seals your healing and is permanent in the name of Jesus. All of you, we're going to do different things now. The first one, we're going to address... The demon possessed people. Jesus cast them out with a simple command. Ask about the rashes on your face. You are healed in the name of Jesus. If you know that you are demon possessed, or if you are not sure, because sometimes people don't know that they have demons in them, you know, stand up. Stand up. I told you, invite somebody on this video. You know, wow, somebody said, I feel something when you say come out. Wow, and I was just reading the scripture, I've never started praying for you. Stand up, everybody, put your right hand on your forehead. Put your right hand on your forehead. We're gonna cast out those demons. <laughs> hey, ya baba, sendega hande, hey, hey, ronda raba shanda. Even your children, if they are still awake, bring them to stand near you. Make sure they can hear my voice. You understand? 
Wow, so many people had pain in their neck. They are saying it's gone. Father, I, I love you. Thank you so much. <coughs> Stand up. Put your hand on your forehead. You have to believe, oh. You have to believe. Put your hand on your forehead. Put your hand on your forehead. Father Lord, I am only doing what you asked me to do today. So far, I have done the first part. They are all testifying. And I believe that this part will go where too. Roba hande braho so grehindaha. All of you that have your hand on your forehead, I cover you with the blood of Jesus. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. Holy Ghost, take over them right now. Everybody that hand their ha that have their hand on the forehead, Holy Spirit, take over them right now. Make their body uncomfortable. Make their body uncomfortable for every demon. Every demon that has possessed their body. Just the same way Jesus cast them out in the Bible with a simple command. I command them to come out of that body and go back to hell. In the name of Jesus. You demon that has possessed this body. Out in the name of Jesus. 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 Name of Jesus. Back to hell where you belong. Leave that body right now. In the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. You are free in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, thank you, Father. Yes. Yes. A lot of you feel something jump out of you right now. A lot of you feel something leave you. I hear that some of you felt like something jumped out of you. You are free in the name of Jesus. Ha ha ha. Okay. Ibrahim the brosha rasa tayarabaha. Hey, oh my God, I feel so good after that prayer. I feel so good. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mimi is vomiting already, and she hasn't even drank the water. Hallelujah! 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 Now the next one that we're gonna do. Is for the sick. Remember, he cast the demons out. Wow. 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 Michelle says she feels so light. You are free. Natasha said, I burped and now I feel sleepy. You are free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The next one that we're going to do is for the sick. Wow. Nana say, sharp pain just left my body. ODK say, I felt a strong sensation moving from my legs to my head. You are free, ODK, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The next one we're going to do is, it says, He cast out the evil spirit with a simple command. And he healed all the sick. So now, we are going to pray for the healing of the sick. Betty, you feel something coming out from your body. I command that thing to come out now in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Bojo says she found herself spinning. You are free. That's right. You command them to come out and they come out. Hey, hey, strawberry hey. Hey, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I love reading your comments. God bless you all. The next set, the next set is for people that need healing. The sick, stand up, put your hand on your forehead. Stand up, put your hand on your forehead. Any kind of sickness, if you have HIV or cancer, I don't care what you have. It says, and he healed all the sick. All the sick. All the sick. So if anybody is here, sick. Stand up. Put your right hand on your forehead. I don't care what kind of sick, sickness, arthritis, fibromyalgia, high blood pressure, whatever it is. Put your hand on your forehead. So many things are happening now. 
Some of you feel fire on your body right now. Stand up. Put your right hand on your forehead. Father, Lord, I'm only obeying what you're telling me to do. Your children believe. Your, your children believe. They believe in you, Lord. You have already started working in their life. They believe you can heal them, Lord. All of you that have your hand on your forehead that are sick. I don't care what kind of sickness that's in your body. All I know is Jesus can heal all of you. Receive your healing right now in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing right now in the name of Jesus. Your instant healing and the glory will come back to my Father in heaven. Receive it in the name of Jesus. You are healed in the name of Jesus. You are healed in the name of Jesus. You are healed in the name of Jesus. All of you are healed in the name of Jesus. Just say thank you, Jesus, because it is done. I'm not the one that does it. As long as I obey what he tells me, it works. Somebody commented, Gladys Omoigo said, I saw a small girl leave my body. How can that be possible? Wow. Adeline said, for the first time, something came out of me. Wow. 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 Somebody said, I saw a small girl leave my body. Jatu said, I keep going on to the bathroom. My God, my God, my God. Jesus, this is powerful. She actually saw somebody leave her body, a little girl. Oh, the demon left you, sweetie. You are free. <laughs> Rabba said, She said she saw a small girl leave her body. Hallelujah. Just celebrate your freedom right now. Give God all the praise. For those who need healing, you are healed. You are healed. Oh, I love you, Father. My Father is working so much tonight. And a lot of you believe that's why this is working. If you came here doubting, nothing will work for you. Wow, wow. Some of you feel this fire on your body, heat all over your body, your hand, your back, your head, your face, everywhere. Power. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. So now we're going to do the last thing. We have so many people watching today. Share the video if you haven't shared it. Save this video. It's powerful. You need to watch it again. You need to watch it again. Thank you, Father. Make sure you pay attention to what I'm saying. All of you now, go get water. Go get water. This, this is the last one we're doing. And then we'll start allowing you post all your testimonies. Water for you, for your children, for anybody in your house. This water that I'm going to pray for, God told me to tell you to sprinkle it in your house. To sprinkle some on your face. To drink. So it's going to be sprinkled, some sprinkled on your face, and you drink. This is what I heard him tell me before I came on here. Oh, I need mine too. Michael! Oh, mommy is getting for me. Thank you, mommy. He said we'll sprinkle on our face. Sprinkle in there. Thank you, my mother. No, one is fine. I, I, I don't want to miss out on this water. <laughs> he said we'll sprinkle on our face. We will drink and we will sprinkle in our house. So get your water. Let me know when you have your water. Andrea Lovell, your son will begin to talk right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Nikki said, I have infection on my private part, but no more pain now. You are healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless all of you. <laughs> Nia Lee say, I'm not missing anything tonight, woman of God. That's why it's good to watch these videos. You never know what God is going to do. Thank you, Father. Just get your water. When you have it, you let me know. I hear somebody is getting a bucket of water. Please, I didn't tell you bucket. <laughs> I don't know. I just heard it in my spirit. Some, somebody is going to get a bucket. A bucket of water. This person say, I must bath this water. <laughs> I will not just sprinkle it. I want to bath it. 
<laughs> oh my god i just heard it clearly that somebody is going to get a bucket of water <laughs> please oh <laughs> don't go get a drum of water <laughs> See me, I don't want to just sprinkle on my feet. I need it on my body. I need to bath it. <laughs> I heard it. And they say somebody's getting a bucket of water. <laughs> the person wants to take a shower with it tonight. <laughs> see, somebody that like, Yayemba say, Ah, it's me. Oh, you see, <laughs> the person already confessed. <laughs> she went to carry big buckets. <laughs> she said, I want to bait it. I need this water. <laughs> oh my god, this is too funny, guys. Oh man, you all are so funny. You guys want it all. <laughs> when I tell you now, give offering, you run. I won't see you again. No. <laughs> now you want it all. <laughs> oh my God. Get your water, everybody. God said we'll sprinkle some on our face. We'll drink some. And then we'll sprinkle all over our house. Everywhere in your house. Some of you, when you even start sprinkling in your house, you will hear noise in your house. You will hear like something is running out of your house. <laughs> you know how many times we've done this? People have commented that they, they they heard something run out of their house. Somebody even said they heard the sound of a cat and they don't have cats in their house. <laughs> Any evil that is hiding in your house, when you sprinkle that water, they will flee. Somebody, you will have a peaceful sleep tonight because it's like you've been feeling evil presence in your house lately. God knows why he's doing this. So you got your water? Hallelujah. <laughs> Somebody, Grace is mad, say, it makes sense. Let me go carry my own bucket. <laughs> you, <laughs> you all are so funny. Yo. <laughs> I love your faith, though. <laughs> Is that the person has a big house? That's why they need a bucket. <laughs> oh, you know, if you have a business too, if you have a business, you can also have water for your business. Because some of you have business, you need to sprinkle in your business too. So if you have a, an employee that is evil, they cannot enter that business. When they come to work, they won't be able to enter the building. They will say, "Um, I forgot something. Let me go and collect what I forgot." They didn't forget nothing. They can't enter there no more. <laughs> so if you have a business, I'm reminding you, some of you have business, but you're not thinking of your business right now. You're only thinking of your house. I just reminded you. <laughs> Something is about to happen. Now you see why the demons hate me. Because we chase them out. <laughs> we cast them back to where they belong in hell. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey. 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 Now you will pray for your water. I'll give you one minute. I'll give you one minute to pray for your water. Say, Father Lord, as I drink this water, as I sprinkle this water on my face, as I sprinkle it in my house, every evil spirit, every demon, will flee in the name of Jesus. My destiny shall be restored. Everything that the devil has stolen from me shall be restored. I will be filled with the Holy Ghost. Just keep praying. Mostly things that don't belong in your body or that don't belong in your house will flee and go to hell. Begin to pray. Because for your house is really to cleanse your house. Evil presence. Evil things evil mirror evil pot evil thing hiding in your heart, evil animal even if you have a dog a cat that is possessed sprinkle this thing on him <laughs> on that dog <laughs> you'll be surprised you don't know animals get possessed just begin to pray begin to pray thank you father oh thank you jesus thank you jesus i i heard you sprinkle it on your face you sprinkle on your house in your house and you drink so if you have children too, you have to do the same for them. You sprinkle it on their face. It came so strong on me, so 
I have to obey. Begin to pray 30 more seconds. 30 more seconds. 30 more seconds. Where, because when you chase evil presence, when you chase evil things away, then your blessings begin to come because they are the things that block your blessings. You understand? They are the things that make life miserable for you. When they are gone, you see that things begin to work out for you. Begin to pray. 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 Ten more seconds. If you just came on, get your water. If you just came on, get your water. Pray that as you sprinkle this water on your face, as you sprinkle it in your house, as you drink it, everything evil will flee and go to hell. Your destiny will be restored. Peace will be restored. Whatever the devil has stolen from you will be restored. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I'm going to pray for your water now. Everybody. Father, Lord, you asked me to do this even before I came on this video. I'm only obeying you, Father. You have done so many wonderful things tonight. And I know even with this, you will do more mighty things tonight. I command everybody's water, including mine, to turn to the blood of Jesus right now in the name of Jesus. As they drink this water, evil, evil remnants, evil deposits, they will vomit it in the name of Jesus. Every evil spirit, every demon, anything that they have done to them that is evil will come out, will flush out, will go back to hell where they belong in the name of Jesus. They will vomit, they will pee, they will poop, they will burp, they will cough, they will yawn, they will take it out. It will come out of them in the name of Jesus. Their destinies will be restored in the name of Jesus. As they sprinkle it around their house, every evil presence will flee and go to hell in the name of Jesus. Evil charms, anything that is in their house hiding, it will come out in the open and the power will be destroyed in the name of Jesus. As they sprinkle it on their faces, they will begin to see what you want them to see. Their glory shall be restored. Their, 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 their life, whatever you have put in them, shall be restored. People will begin to see them for who they are, who you have made them to be in the name of Jesus. Every evil cloth that has been covering them shall be burnt off as they sprinkle this water on their face in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father Lord, I know you will do mighty things with this water. This is no longer ordinary water, but this is the blood of Jesus. This is miracle water. This is anointing water, demon chasing water, destiny restoration water in the name of Jesus. I anoint your water in the name of God, the Father, God, the Son, God, the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Oh, when you drink this water, those that couldn't have children, you will have children. Those that want job, they will get jobs. Those that want financial breakthrough, you will have. Whatever needs fixing in your life, as you drink this water, it shall be fixed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. It is done. So now the, the instruction is you drink some, you sprinkle some on your face, and you sprinkle all over your house. Begin to do it now. Now. Some of you will hear a door open. I'm hearing it. Somebody you will hear like a door open in your house and like somebody ran out of the house. Somebody you will even hear something like a cat. Somebody you will hear a window. Somebody you will hear something as you sprinkle it. Somebody even when you drink your belly will start making noise. Somebody you start vomiting. Oh, make sure you give your children to Michael. Thank you, Father. Mommy, you want to sprinkle some on my face? Okay. Michael, where are you? Come on. I want to sprinkle me. I don't want to miss out on this thing. No. Just because I'm the one play, praying for it, don't mean. <laughs> I don't want to miss, uh, miss out. <laughs> Thank you, Father. I just like following instructions. Thank you, Father. All over me. All over me. Some of you, your eyes will open when you sprinkle it. Some of you, people will start seeing you for who you are. The devil had covered your face with something. Make sure you sprinkle it well on your face, so don't just sprinkle small. I didn't say sugar and bath it, though.
I'm trying to sprinkle my own now, but I'm on this video. <laughs> I really need to sprinkle this thing. <laughs> I really need to sprinkle. I wish I could sprinkle it now. I want to sprinkle it. Somebody say some of you, some of us are at work. Drink and sprinkle on your face now. When you get home, you sprinkle at home. You can even sprinkle in your work area where you sit down at your job. Just in case they put something around your desk or your table. You know people are wicked. They plant evil things near your desk. You don't know. Sprinkle something. Somebody will be paralyzed today. I'm hearing it. Somebody will be paralyzed. Somebody will be handicapped. Somebody that has been doing evil. That put evil things around you. As you are sprinkling this water, you're being free. And people are... People, people are confessing wherever they are. My God. See, to tell you that I can't wait, eh? <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. My mother is busy doing something. I wanted her to sprinkle it on me. It's okay, mommy. I got it. I just need it to touch my face. I don't want to wet my laptop. That's why. Go and sprinkle in your house, so please do it now. Follow instructions. Thank you, Jesus. Wow, somebody said they are bopping already. They need to use the bathroom. Ha! Ta, 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 ta. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I must get I must do this in my face today. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I cannot miss out on this thing. No. <laughs> Let me tell you, most times I miss out on these things and I don't like it. When I finish now, I'll go sprinkle it in the house. Somebody said they are so cold. Hallelujah. My eye everywhere. You see me? Oh, you got two bottles, mommy? Okay, so you will sprinkle in the house. Okay, good. My mother got extra, so she will sprinkle her on. Let me enter my eye. I want to see more. I want to see more than I see now. <laughs> if you miss the water, make sure you just, you can save the video, watch it. I don't really do things twice on my video. Somebody said they're already speaking in tongues. Some of you, your stomach could be making noise right now. Hey. See, Gladys says she even sprinkled it on their car. That's a good one. Good job. Yeah. When I sprinkled it, I just felt some kind of chills on my face. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. I'll still sprinkle more on my face when I finish this video. Wow. Linsha said, my daughter is coughing so hard when I sprinkled it in her room. Wow. Wow. I'm telling you, sprinkle it, your closet, your room, don't skip anywhere, please. There has to be a reason why we're doing this. Ah. Hey, 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 hey. Even your front, your front door, open the door and sprinkle in the front so that no evil can step in there. The back door to open it and sprinkle in the back. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wow, somebody said the pain in their body is gone. Wow. Mezi said things were falling down in my house. Wow. She said things were falling down in her house. Wow. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Zion, Zion said, I felt something left my face and my stomach is making noise. Wow. Rosie said, can I sprinkle on my bed and car? Sure, you can sprinkle on your bed. Anyway, just sprinkle your house. This is what I'm just telling you what I heard today. Thank you, Father. Wow, thank you, Jesus. Somebody said they feel their eyes open. Thank you, Father. Me, I still want to sprinkle more on my face. I wish I had a spray bottle. I don't put it and sprinkle it. Sprinkle it on my face. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
Wow, somebody say her son is laughing after drinking the water. He can't stop laughing. People are using the bathroom already. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Father. All over me. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. 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 So many people will testify. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. You have to say, I feel like something is melting off my face. Wow. 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 I'm, I'm glad you guys are giving it to your children. Alicia said, my stomach keeps making noise and I keep burping. Hallelujah. Yeah, that water is too powerful. Power. Hey, yeah, baba. Rubbish in the heart. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Your anointing is all over me. All over me. All over me. Somebody said their face is itching. How are you feeling, everybody? I know some of you are still sprinkling. Some of you have a very big house. Like you have big houses. If you miss the water, you go back and watch it when I'm done. Get your own water. It was your own water that you were supposed to get. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Oh, my God. Thank you, Father. Comfort that thing that is stuck in your throat. I command it to come out in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Lincha, whatever is in your daughter's throat, I command it to come out in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. If you missed it, just wait. When we're done, you watch the video again. It was too many things that you missed. This is one video. In fact, all the videos are good videos. I don't know which one is not good. They are all good. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Holy Presence. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Is anybody hungry? Because suddenly I just got hungry. After drinking the water, I feel so hungry. Like, it's like something left me or something. This water is so powerful. Oh, my God. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Look at the comments. The comments alone will make you want to drink that water. <laughs> I love me. I just got so hungry all of a sudden. Wow. This is what we call cleansing. 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 Thank you, Father. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Oh, my God. It's been a great day. I'm so happy. Wow. Somebody said they're hungry, too. I thought it was only me. I just got so hungry. It's like the water just cleansed everything in my belly. Wow. I got so hungry. I know I like food before, but this one is something else. So. Thank you, Jesus. Your, the song name is, the title of the song playing is All Over Me. The artist is Joe Praise. All over me. 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 
Sasha, you are spitting. I command that spirit to leave you right now in the name of Jesus. Wow, a lot of people are feeling hungry. I thought it was only me. All. And I didn't even drink much. I'm remaining some for my son. I only drank like maybe half of it. And then I'll give some to my son and my mom will sprinkle, sprinkle some. Give gifts that I can't stand up. I am shaking. Wow. Wow, wow. The <laughs> recipe said she just ate three oranges. <laughs> so everybody, you guys got hungry like that. Two people just commented the same comment. Nancy said, my face is itching. Grace said, my face is itching. Wow. No wonder God said we should sprinkle the water on our face. Wow. Their face is itching. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Chinwe says, wow, after sprinkling the water around my ass, I started seeing fire. And a hat I bought. I bought a hat and it fell from the wardrobe. Wow. Hey. Things are happening. Now. Oh, oh. It says she bought a hat and it fell from the wardrobe. Wow. Somebody else said their face is itching. Is anybody else face itching after sprinkling on your face? A lot of people say their face is itching. Man, I just felt so... I felt cold on my face. But a lot of you are feeling itching. Wow. Wow. Powerful. You all need to watch this video again, though. <laughs> hey, Jesus. Somebody, Latif, Latifatu, has been sneezing. Wow. Wow. Somebody is feeling burning sensation on their face. When you guys sprinkled it on your face, how what happened? Was it itching? Tell us what happened to you. I see a lot of people say their face was itching. Wow. Wow, wow. Wow. All I can say is wow. <laughs> I just love the way my father works. Millicent said my face was burning. Now it's itching. Wow. My daughter started itching on her body. Wow. Princess Julia said her daughter's face is itching. Wow. Demons are just escaping. They are living. Wow. A lot of people, their face is itching. My own didn't itch me. Oh. Mine was just... This is powerful. Oh. Hey. 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 Wow. My God. The comments are just wow. Wow. Thank you, Father. You'll be wondering what's in the water that is making your face itch. This is your own water. <laughs> we just turn into the blood of Jesus. No wonder God says sprinkle on their face because I haven't done that on the video before. My father is too much. He's too powerful. Princess Bovi said, My face is shine. Our face is shining now. Wow. Mim say my eyes opened. Wow. Diana said, just heat on my face even now. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Mona says demons is itching them that her daughter complained about itching before her deliverance yeah i saw your daughter itching before she got delivered no wonder god says sprinkle water on your face sprinkle some more on your face <laughs> i must say i saw something like a black shadow hmm. and rika said my eyes is like something went in and out wow 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 Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. 
This is too powerful, Lord. My God. Thank you, Jesus. So many people face itching. Something is happening. The water is turning to acid, to demons. So they can't stay no more. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh no, mercy. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I have to read this comment. This one is too funny. Oh no, mercy. I just baited with my water and I believe it is total cleansing for me. I am itching. <laughs> this person just took a shower. Now, now. <laughs> I just baited with my water and I believe it's my total cleansing. I am itching. Wow. You didn't waste time, but that was a quick shower. <laughs> you guys are so serious. <laughs> are you guys reading that comment? You say, man, I just took a shower right now and I'm itching all over my body. I believe that I'm, I'm cleansed. <laughs> God says sprinkle on your face, so you went to bed with it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> my god, this is so funny. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are so funny here. <laughs> oh, oh my god, this is too funny. It's too funny. <laughs> He said, man, I just took a quick bat. <laughs> oh. oh my God, this is too funny. Mm. Funny, funny, funny. My God, this is funny. I'm just reading your comments. So all this time we were, we were just commenting, she was taking a shower. <laughs> a quick one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh my god, funny, funny, funny. I like to laugh. Oh. Uh, God say, wash your face. You use it to shower. <laughs> Diana said, she did like Peter. Lord, wash my head, uh, my hands, and my feet. That's right. <laughs> See, you guys don't know what the person has been going through. Only them know the problem they've been going through. So just leave them alone. No. <laughs> <laughs> ah, heavenly shower <laughs> heavenly shower <laughs> oh. uh, uh, President Povi say we have to promote this video I'm ready to support God bless you sweetie anyone that wants to promote it fine send money to my paper <laughs> you know sometimes I wish we had 1 million people watching this Imagine one million people drinking this water and bathing with <laughs> bathing with it. <laughs> oh my god, this is too funny, guys. <laughs> you all are so funny. God will be in heaven laughing at you. <laughs> so what is it? I don't know what you guys are talking about, but I'm about to go take a shower right now with this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh my god oh jesus i'm sorry guys but i love to laugh oh oh i love to laugh man laughter is good <laughs> Oh my god, thank you guys. Mm. My god. Thank you, Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> Adeline say, Princess, I can't stop yawning. No, this one passed me. Hey! You know when those demons, when they are manifesting, they'll say, We don't like Belema Abili because she's, she's freeing people, she's taking our people. <laughs> You can see what they mean now. Demons are coming out. Hey. Ratata yarabahande. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. My God. 
You guys just made me laugh so hard, man. All over me. Vivian said, the water is powerful. It touched my chest by mistake and my chest is itching. Wow, that means your whole body needs that water. God told me face. Some of you touching other places. That means the water, you need it. Make sure you watch this video again. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody say, can you start a fresh woman of God? Oh, sorry. That's why we have the replay now. You can play it back, sweetie. You, you can play it back. <laughs> Eric says, sometimes it's good to follow the Holy Spirit instruction. That's right. Follow instruction. If you say face, you use face. Because you may God use body and God will say, I didn't tell you to follow it. To do it like that oh my god talking about instruction there was a there was a scripture i was reading oh where is that scripture where did it go oh no 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 that's a good one i was gonna preach about that of how people don't follow instructions and they miss out <laughs> i'm still talking about instruction and some more people want Amanda say I'm gonna watch again and take a bath tomorrow. <laughs> We're talking about falling. In. <laughs> God, oh, come and see your children, oh. <laughs> Lucy say I just took a shower and I use it as my lotion. <laughs> How can you use the water as your lotion? <laughs> People need people really really have problems. <laughs> she said, Man, I took a shower with it, I use it as my lotion. <laughs> How can you use water as your lotion? I've never seen that kind of lotion before. <laughs> Lucy, you're so funny. Oh my god. She said, please, I don't want to take chances with this demon. They better live for good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god eh? oh my god this is too funny my god <laughs> oh my god please you guys should allow me to enjoy this water on my face let me not laugh and this water will just stop stop feeling the way it's feeling now. <laughs> she said, I took a shower with it and I used it at my lotion. <laughs> she said, okay, water, I will rob you now. is so interesting i need to ask my father what the itching means but mona explained it well though or maybe pastor isaac somewhere can tell us what it means pastor isaac are you watching why are they all itching like this <laughs> why are they all itching <laughs> oh my god they say they are itching all over mm. oh my god Dela, Dela, this thing say, Dela does say that kind of prayer is very rare now. So we are taking advantage of it. <laughs> Nobody say that's water lotion. <laughs> Lucy say, yes, so it's liquid. <laughs> Paris say, I put the water in my family picture. <laughs> Y'all are doing too much. <laughs> <laughs> Michelin say people are hungry for deliverance. <laughs> Before you know, somebody will use it to cook soup. <laughs> 
Oh, Pastor Isaac say you're itching because things are coming out. <laughs> Jesus Christ, oh. Uh, my God. Before you know, some people use it to go across soup and they go see soup. <laughs> some people use it to make gari <laughs> to eat. <laughs> So people, you know, they will go and meet their friends in the in their house. Come, come, come! I want to do something. They will sprinkle water on their friend face. Their friend will say, "What is this thing now?" No, no, I'm just making sure you're not possessed. <laughs> I want to make sure you're not possessed. So, what kind of water is this now? Don't worry, don't worry. If you don't manifest, then you are good. <laughs> There's some people like that, oh. or the husband will come and say, "Baby, baby, come, baby, come." Oh, the Holy Ghost. <laughs> the babe, the other thing, babe, what is this? Babe, just wait. I want to make sure you are not possessed. <laughs> You'll be sprinkling water on people in here. <laughs> oh, oh, I know some of you will do that. You call your best friend, please come. I want to show you something. You sprinkle water. <laughs> <laughs> she said, girl, what is that? Why are you trying to mess up my makeup? No, no, no. I'm just trying to make sure you're okay. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure you're okay. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Vivian says, something came out of my chest and a rib area. Wow. 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 Okoro, she went say, I'm waiting for my husband to come back. <laughs> This is like a comedy show. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is funny. You'll be sprinkling on your friends that you've been suspecting. <laughs> you say, come, come, come. I've been suspecting you, sis. Let's ju just wait. Let me sprinkle this water. If nothing happened to you, then you're good. <laughs> Victoria who said they say you are the man are you the man I'm supposed to marry oh yeah sprinkle one time boom 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 <laughs> you guys will be using the water to check people out <laughs> oh my god eh? oh my god eh? father this is so funny mm. I'm sure God will be laughing at you guys too oh my god but so Isaac said that the itching means something is coming out you guys saw his comment right so that explains why you guys are itching so badly i mean something is coming out. and the girl that used it to bait she said after baiting she's itchy all over so that means it was really good but god didn't tell me about baiting he just said on your face thank you father thank you jesus i've laughed enough i've laughed enough oh my god i'm about to leave you guys and go Claire said, my chest area is burning and hot. Hallelujah. <laughs> Princess Povy said, I'm going to my family house tomorrow. I will sprinkle the water on everybody. <laughs> you guys don't gonna cause trouble uh, and say I'm the one that sent you to be sprinkling water on people. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, so what if you sprinkle water on somebody and the person start to manifest and their eye change and they start to speak in another voice? What would you do? <laughs> you know that water can cast demons out now. You gonna sprinkle on somebody and you are the only one in the house with the person and they say mm, ma, <laughs> I am this <laughs> some of you will leave your house around. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you say, hey, woman of God, oh, woman of God, oh, hey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't go and sprinkle on somebody that will start manifesting and you're the only one with them. Oh. Hey, oh. You say, woman of God, come and see. Oh. <laughs> they will leave their bag and run. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> people say they will run so why are you going to sprinkle water what if they react <laughs> oh my god 
God. <laughs> Jesus, thank you. Oh my God. You don't know this water can make somebody manifest. The person will manifest that you will run. You say, woman of God, oh hey. hey. My husband is manifesting. No, my wife is manifesting. My daughter is mani- my best friend is manifesting. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you, Father. Oh my God. <laughs> you guys are all saying you will run. <laughs> I thought you have the power to cast out demons. <laughs> God has not given us the spirit of fear. Why are you running to? <laughs> oh my God. Oh. oh my God. Come, you are supposed to say, come out of that body. In the name of Jesus. Agnes say, I will call for Pastor Isaac. <laughs> Pastor, you've seen it. They say they will run and start calling you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> if you know you're gonna run don't be sprinkling water on people though. <laughs> because you never know what will happen <laughs> don't go and sprinkle water have you not watched prophet tb joshua's video they sprinkle the water and some people their eyes will change <laughs> you have to make sure you have people around you <laughs> <laughs> Let the sleeping dog lie. <laughs> Let the sleeping dog lie if you're not ready. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, this is funny. But this is the truth though. It, it, like, if somebody's really possessed and the water touches them, they could start manifesting. And if you know you can't finish it, make sure you have people around you or something. You know? <laughs> hey. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Somebody said they will ask them, they'll tell them, come out of that body. What's your name? Where do you come from? <laughs> you start asking them those questions, eh? And they will look and they will say, my name is this. Nah. <laughs> I know that a lot of people will run. <laughs> oh my God, we got <laughs> Pastor I think is even laughing. <laughs> he knows now. <laughs> that time you will know if you are truly a born again Christian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you now <laughs> The water is powerful like that Before you spray Make sure you have people around you Before something happens Oh my god thank you father I've laughed so te- I don't laugh so te- My belly is hurting now Oh Jesus This was a good one Just give give God all the glory You know just Just give God all the glory just tell him thank you for a wonderful night, for a, a blessed night, you know. Something happened. We're laughing, but a lot of things have happened. Deliverance took place. Healing took place. Things happen, you know. <laughs> Somebody says, is it normal to feel sleepy? Yes, it's normal. That's right. It's normal. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Oh my God. I feel so good. Me, I'm still gonna sprinkle more on my face because I was just touching it. I need to spray it on my face all over. Remove the wig and spray water everywhere on my face. Oh my god. Oh somebody somebody Domil says they will ask the demon who are you? Do you know my cousin Princess Belema? <laughs> Do you like her? <laughs> my society, they are learning from you. <laughs> they will be asking those kind of questions. You guys <laughs> you all are learning, no be smarting. <laughs> who are you? Do you like Evangelist Belema? <laughs> Do you like me? 
<laughs> oh my god <laughs> i see you <laughs> pastor is you they are learning all these questions from you <laughs> pastor you hear it somebody said they will ask who are you who are you that's you that's how you talk pastor i think please come up Come on, this few minutes we have, maybe you should be the one talking to them. <laughs> they say, who are you? Do you like my cousin, the woman of God? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh, you guys are so funny. I'm trying to stop laughing, but I can't stop. My God. Ah, Jesus. Jesus, this is so much fun. Hey. Hey. I will sleep so well tonight. What time is it? It's 12 midnight already. Ah. Somebody said they don't have pain anymore. Hallelujah. Pastor, you see, you're laughing. <laughs> eh, Diana Dante said they will respond. That woman, Belema, too much fire. Too much. <laughs> oh. oh my God. Eh. Oh, uh. oh my God. Oh my God, thank you, Father. It's good to have fun, no? It's good to have fun. It's good to have fun here. Pastor Isaac, they are learning from you. Everybody wants to cast out demons like you. It's not easy. It's not easy. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. 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 Thank you, Jesus. 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 Oh my God. Thank you, Father. What how many more minutes do we have? Pastor, is that you that's coming downstairs? You know, I don't see the video sign. I would have invited you, so since I still have a few more minutes now, <laughs> they are making for it now. <laughs> they say, I say, what if they sprinkle? <laughs> you can roll the remote. I say, what if they sprinkle the remote, uh, the water on somebody and demons that to manifest? They will say, <laughs> they will say, come out of that body. Who are you? <laughs> do you know my? Do you like my cousin? <laughs> Woman of now you they talk like that too. <laughs> 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 oh my god, that water was powerful. Yeah, do you have anything was, to say? You know, um a lot of people were asking about, you know, why um they're itching. They're feeling itchy um um they're itching. And I saw a lot of comments. Now usually when the anointing of God's spirit is present, if there's anything that is not of God in a person's life, a person's system, it becomes uncomfortable. And usually that uncomfortable feeling to manifest in different ways. Sometimes they could feel heat, they could feel the itchiness, and then you know, uh, you know, some kind of sensation, displeasure. Different, it manifests in different ways. So itchiness is one of them. That, you know, that's why a lot of people were feeling itchy. But wow. the fact that the anointing came upon you and started feeling that way, it means something is happening. Wow. And that's it. So like one of the deliverances, the 11-year-old girl, I just watched the video just now. She kept saying, I'm itching, I'm itching. That's what Mona was yes. saying. Mona was saying, that's Mona's daughter. How mm -hmm. about the person that beat the whole bucket? <laughs> But but do you think what they did is right? Because God said I should tell them to rub on their face. Eh, it's not rubbing on the face. <laughs> Lotion is not <laughs> <laughs> well, They took a bucket and they, they beat the thing. <laughs> but man, who uses water as lotion? <laughs> <laughs> then they say they should rub it. They follow the instruction and they rub it on. People are too funny in this place. <laughs> Somebody said they will take the container and go to their family house and bring on everybody. <laughs> I say, what if the things start to manifest? They say they will do your stuff. <laughs> yeah, you can. You can. But you, you, you be careful about these things, okay? Let demon not punch your eye. <laughs> be careful with those things. What you see us do, be careful with those things. Let demon not give you black eye. Anyway, but don't be scared. 
No, they should they should have people around them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, no. <laughs> Mama, God, you know now. Nah. If not, there was one day you said that you, one demon was charging to you with uh-huh. nine once a person that was with, and you have yes. to command them to stop. Yes, yes. This one, if they charge with them, they will run. <laughs> they charge it. They will. <laughs> one time, Pastor was trying to cast out a demon from a lady. And suddenly he said she went to grab a knife. Yeah, she did. She went to grab a knife and she was coming with full speed to him. Yes. And he just told her, I think he said, yes, freeze, f- freeze, yes. freeze. And she froze with the knife like that. Yes. But some of you, you see the knife, you say, hey, <laughs> I don't die. <dare> you. <laughs> you don't freeze yourself. Eh? You don't. <laughs> <laughs> you say, <laughs> Jesus help me. <laughs> you won't think because it, it happens so fast. You know, it happens fast. Yeah. He said, freeze. Even the people around him could not even hold this person. Yeah, of course. And there was a time he said, you say you were casting a demon and it's like everybody around you froze. Yes. Tell them that experience now. And then, I think I have a video somewhere. I was praying for this lady. This lady, very beautiful lady. Light in complexion, beautiful. Every time she has a fight with her husband, I think they had physical fights. Every time when the man comes out, either his hand is broken or his head is broken. <laughs> they beat the husband. This guy's hefty guy, big guy, six feet tall. But she always beats her husband very, very well. When the demon, when comes, the demon her. comes upon her, she becomes strong, as strong as four hefty men. And she will beat her husband every time. And I'm telling you a true life story. Sometimes she'll even take a knife and stab him. She'll break bottles. She'll stab anything that comes to her. Beautiful lady. That's why I say, men, be careful. Mm. All that glitters is not wifey. Wow. Is it all that glitters is all that glitter is not wifey? I'm telling you. When you see the foundations and the bling bling, no, all that glitters is not wifey. Wow. So, you know, she will beat up her husband. So it was, uh, I think we were having a communion service or something like that. And people came out, I was like, who feels the pain? You can come out and take communion. Immediately she ate the communion, she started manifesting. This very violent demon. And then, you know, while I was trying to minister to her, she just grabbed my hand. All the ushers, I don't know how she did it, but they just, they're just standing and watching me. And she was trying to grab my finger. To break it. No, to break my finger. Just trying, trying, you could just see. I had to depend on the name of Jesus. I'm sure it was a test. God was testing my faith to see. You know, there are some times when you try the spiritual way and it doesn't work, you run first. But I wasn't going to do that. I stood strong in the name of Jesus. Stood, I maintained my confession until that demon was cast out. And then, you know, she was delivered. After which, you didn't even know what happened. But the point is that you never know what yeah, to expect. You never know what to expect. Why you see me do those things is because God has trained has me for trained it. Trained you for it and called you. For yeah, it. and He called me for it. That's why you see me doing like that. Otherwise, these things sometimes I've seen. There was a time I was casting out demons. The ushers that were one of the ushers that was helping me. The guy, the demon attacked him. The guy collapsed right there. Yeah, I think you told me that one. Yeah, I told you that collapsed right there, and I had to pray for him, and he got revived. So these things are very serious things. You know, some people can just see us doing those things and say, ah, I can do that too. I can. It doesn't really work that way. This is not for you to be scared of demons. No. In your house, like I always preach, in your house, you are in charge. That's okay, right. if Satan comes to mess up in your house, you can use the authority of your believer as a believer and say, the Bible says in Mark 16, 17, this sign shall follow them that believe. believe. In my name, they shall cast, cast out, out devils. devils. And use that authority to cast, cast out devils. That, that thing, right? Cast out devils, demons. Yeah, thank you, Lord Jesus. So you cast out demons wherever they are. That's right, that's right. Okay. Yeah. You cast out demons. You can use that authority in the name of Jesus to cast them out and they will be out. That's what you can do in your house. But when you start going around like that, you have to be led by the Spirit of God. That's right. That's what the Holy Spirit has to lead you to do such things. Yes. But don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of demons. There's nothing to be afraid of them. Jesus said, fear not. Fear not. That's it. He said, don't be afraid. Why? Because he said, greater is he that is in you 
than he that is in the world. That's right. And there are some of you that you're watching who might be joking about these things, but God is training you. There That's are right. some of you that will do those things too. Yes. You will cast out demons with boldness. Yes. You know, you God will use you to save people, heal people, deliver people. God will use you mightily. Some of you that are watching, it's not by accident that you are here. God is training you. He's raising an army. You know, every army has different departments. Mm -hmm. You know, every army has different different departments, but it's all part of it. I think it was said, I think it was it JFK or so, John F. Kennedy. It was said that when he went to NASA or something, when they were about to launch um, a spaceship into the moon or something like that, he saw a janitor and he asked him, what is your own duty here? And the janitor said, I'm trying to help get a rocket on the moon. Mm -hmm. So in other words, even the guy who is cleaning the floor, ultimately... Is serving for the general of the co uh, common cause of you know, sending the, 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 the spaceship to the moon. That's what it is like. So everybody, for example, in a church, the person who is arranging the seats, the person who is cleaning the place, the person who is um, decorating the place, the choir members that are singing, all of them together are working to ensure that the work of God goes forward. That's it. Because the pastor alone cannot be an usher and be in the choir That's right. and you know do all those things. So collectively, the Bible says, though we are many, we are one body in Christ. That's right. So we all have our roles, you know, in the kingdom of God, in the body of Christ. We all have our different roles that we've been assigned to. That's right. For example, my dad was in the Nigerian army, but he wasn't like a soldier, a fighter. He was a military personnel. Uh, sorry, he was a medical personnel in the army. So that was his role in the army. So if there was any war... Thankfully, he didn't have to go for any war. But if there's any war, his role was to you know, take care of wounded soldiers and things like that. That's his role. Now, there are also some soldiers who their duty, you know, is to cook in the army. And then different, there are engineers also. For example, if there's war and they have to cross a bridge, they have to you know, make a bridge or something. The engineers will come up with things like that. Mm -hmm. So every army has different departments. That's how the kingdom of God is. We all have our different roles. That's and right. trust me, the role that God has given to you is the best for you. So it's your duty to find it, to discover it. As you keep trying different things, God will lead you. He will teach you. He will let you know what you're supposed to do. And once you start doing that, nothing can stop you. That's right. And in that area where God has called you, I'm telling you the truth, there's protection for you. That's right. You'll be protected. If you step out, imagine in U.S., for example... You know, you're a soldier in the U.S. Army. And then one day you get up and say you want to go to Syria when you're not sent by the army because of so many fightings and all that and ISIS and all those things. If you go there without being sent, you could you lose. It's a suicide mission. You will die. Why? Because the army didn't send you. So they're not even aware. So you can't even call for backup because you were not sent in the first place. But if they send you, maybe 10 Marines or something were sent to a particular country to go and do something, if for any reason they need backup, they can call for backup. The headquarters is aware that you are that there. The same way, if God sent you to a place, he's aware. So you can have had times where, you know, we're casting out demons. Like, how many days ago when we had to deal with that, that guy, we're praying for that guy in the for, car. For three hours. For three minutes. hours. At the point, it was becoming like it was over when we needed backup. And we got backup. Backup came. Mm -hmm. Backup God kept came. Strengthening yes, us. he kept strengthening us for three hours. For three hours, we kept doing that thing, and you know, the point the demon was saying you get tired. I said no, we don't get tired, you know. And I tell you the truth. And at the point, I was asking God some questions, but when God began to give me the answers, I was amazed. I was amazed, and you know, other people have even received deliverance because, from watching that from video. watching that video. Yep. So that's how it is because God was aware of what we were doing. And then, you know, there are so many of you that have sent messages wanting deliverance as well. Just keep praying. But deliverance is not in the hand of any human being. It's in the hand of, in God. The hands of God. If he sends us to you, there's a way to happen. He'll connect us. But if we call you when it's not time for your deliverance, nothing will happen. Trust me. Nothing will happen. If we call, if we call you when Mommy, God has not said sprinkle it. Sprinkle for my face. Mommy, sprinkle us. Don't worry. Sprinkle we are fine. on my face. My face, oh. Not my body. Mommy, mommy, you want to burn for? No, it's okay. It's okay. That's the power of my God. My mother is sprinkling the water Thank around the house. 
Mark, I'm not going to see plenty pass my own. You have more, more anointing than my own. You want to take some? Mommy, you didn't give me a mic anymore. Oh, no, 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 no. Why should they tell us? I'm a glimmer, Joe. I don't want you to have more power than me. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Ah, I mean, mommy, give me some more for my face. Some more? Uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what you do. Power! Hey! Hey, mom! I don't want you to have more power. Oh, God. oh my God! <laughs> I play too much, guys. Oh my God! That is okay. Try it, thank God. God. I don't finally wow, get water for wow. my face. So basically, though. As as you know, we find ourselves in the place where God asks us to or sends us to be in that place will be comfortable, in that place we'll be able to do what He has asked us to do. Praise God. Mm, hallelujah. hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh boy. Now I'm feeling the itchy you now. Hey. Hey. So the demons are hiding on the face. <laughs> <laughs> so the demons are hiding on this face. Ah, die by fire. <laughs> hey. Now now they feel the itchy you now. <laughs> Hey! Hey! Oh my god! So you I'm be hanging around! You be I'm hanging me. around! Oh my god! <laughs> 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 why you guys are itching eh? mm. so even me the evangelist carry demon for face I carry demon for face oh. <laughs> Maria. god bless oh you guys god. we love you guys we play too much here oh god. we play too much but it was fun today's video was fun some of you already started sending your paper if you're led to support the videos my pastor I need to see your face so. you're led to support here. the video you don't feel any itching no not today pastor <laughs> I don't come. <laughs> Pastor, you are too anointed. Oh. I don't come. Oh. <laughs> See, they are laughing hey, at me. <laughs> it's fun, hey. man. Me, you know, I'm always. That's what I'm saying. When we serve, you serve yeah. God. You're always happy. Mm-hmm. You don't have to go and be eating your own shit. Remember that I was telling the people that yes, served so, them? Yes, oh, yes. Eating your own shit or going to sleep in an uncomfortable place we are just happy see that that um deliverance i was doing that lady he said that that's a power that the man is trying to get he said the kind of power that you have is the yes, type you yes, want yes. to get that's yes. why i'm making all these covenants yeah and some of those covenants they will go into the bush they will sleep there's a lady that i was told she had to sleep in the graveyard for three nights sure just for power you, three nights sleep in the graveyard wow on the ground like that all in the name of getting things from the devil but wow. you are the comfort of your home. You are receiving anointing from God. I'm telling you, it's easier to serve God than to serve the devil. Quite easy. Somebody had to go sleep in the graveyard. Graveyard. For Somebody three I days know. to get power. Three days. Meanwhile, God just gave us power for See? being holy. <laughs> we are just the comfort of the car. See, we are sitting down here. Wow. The anointing is there, the presence, the power. You are the wow. comfort of your home. The power of God is reaching you there. What of that guy that had to go sleep with the chicken? Ah, ah. It was a man that yeah 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 sick. when did that demon comes upon him like that they will force him to go and sleep with a chicken can you imagine someone sleeping with a chicken and then after that from that thing he had the spirit of bed wet he started wetting the he started bed a grown up man was sleeping peeing on the bed oh my god but we got we don't have we just laugh we're just happy and when he joined us said, with so much peace that's right the truth. that's peace right a thousand times free better. anointing free True. water some of you bathe the water for free now you see, <laughs> you, see? Lotion, you, see? <laughs> you got free lotion too. <laughs> 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 oh my god it is good to serve the lord though. that's so, right on tuesday is pastor isaac's birthday Pastor, just tell them what to expect now. Let them know. The ones that are coming. And, you know, um, we'll be doing what we like to do, what we love to do. Basically, that's Somebody saying, now your man be this. On a don't come, oh. On a don't come, oh. <laughs> eh? What people? <laughs> <laughs> they say, are you my man? <laughs> His wife is watching, you know. It's my cousin, no? <laughs> oh, <brother>. Wow. <laughs> hey, God. Uh, it's time for me to get a man, no? Right. Ah, don't worry, the man ah, <laughs> Father, <laughs> send me my own man because <laughs> receive, 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 I receive, <laughs> I receive it in the name of Jesus. <laughs> hey, but, uh, 
God bless all of you. you. It is well with all of you. We're just having fun here. Yeah. See, we are done. We're just having fun. We'll see you guys again. Um, it's already late. We would have come back. Do you feel like coming back? You're not sleepy. No, no, no. You're sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow we'll come back. But Isaac and I will come. We'll come and do some deliverance for you guys. You know you like it when he's doing the thing. <laughs> the thing that he does. <laughs> of that body <laughs> God bless all of you we love you I'm going to post my PayPal info if you are led to sow go ahead and sow so we can keep promoting the videos That's right. we love you guys see you guys tomorrow bye 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 let me see oh my god